Hello and welcome to Tampa Never Sleeps 9 on your night in birth 2 Top 8. I'm Fox and joined here today with Squish. Hey, how's it going? You're not Cookie. What's going on here, bro? Oh, yeah. So fun fact, Cookie actually ended up making Top 8 through loser side. In fact, uh, right when he won and he got up off the stage, he was screaming about how uh, commentators actually play this game, which I thought was really funny. I mean, that's why commentators are usually up here because people say they don't play games, right? But right. We have to play games in order to stand them. Yeah, that's right. We just don't enter bracket because then we mess up, you know, scheduling, money payouts and all that stuff. But the people who be paid out are everybody that you see in top eight right now. So on winner's side, yes. we have Big Black, Jurassic Ori, Twang, and Argon. Got Malarkey and Cookie and Vicky Viper and Micaiah. Yes, yeah, so it's, I was going to say it's a pretty diverse top eight, but that's a lie. There's, there's two repeat characters. It's Byakuya and Akatsuki. That's correct. <clears throat> so... Uh, you know, a lot of people are just hoping to see more variety in terms of uh, a lot of character, a lot of characters in the game. Because now that we have three new characters, there's going to be a lot more uh, matchups that you have to understand. You have to know how their um, toolkits work and, you know, how they just play. Because a lot of people don't normally see, like, Kaguya, Sarugi. Right. Kuan's, like, the more popular one right now because he's, like, Yeah, he's a, he's a lot stronger, yeah. So hopefully a lot of people are just like, okay, they start tuning in, they figure out what they like about the game. They start saying like, hey, you know, we want to play these characters and they can go to like the Unicorn or something. Right. And then figure out all the information from there. Yeah, and the Unicorn has been amazing for just like finding out how to play the game, talking to the, like the strong players, all the top players hang out in the Unicorn. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you ever have any questions, you should definitely feel free to join us, ask away. We'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Yes, yes. All right, so hopefully we have our first match ready to go. Uh, like I can't see the players, so I'm just kind of assuming. Uh, right. Are they sitting there? Oh, they're like sta they're like standing up. They're just like, oh, all right, yeah. we're, we're getting ready to go, you know, that, that stuff. But yeah. uh, uh, honestly, I didn't think we'd see so many Akatsukis yeah. in top eight. And I'm not one of them, which is also surprising. <laughs> that, bro, that surprised me too. Yeah. But when I saw you yesterday, we, we talked yesterday real quick. We were just right. like, bro, what happened? Yeah, I ended up drowning in pools, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I need to get used to the console delay because I wasn't just used to that. And I ended up flying in on Saturday morning, too. So, yeah, I only had, like, limited time to practice before pools. I got you, I got you. Uh, either way, I'm sure I'll be better at crossover arc, but... Damn, you're, coming, you're going from here to crossover arc to... Yeah, Slashback. Oh, so you're just getting all your reps in Yeah, pretty much. CB? Okay, okay. CB and Evo. Yeah, I'm grinding this game hardcore, man. Like the old days. Like yeah, like the old days. All right, so right now, <laughs> it's a Biakia mirror. Uh, yeah. It's, it's Big Black uh, in the hoodie. And the gray hoodie, probably one of North America's best players. Probably, like, top five or something like that. Yes, I believe he's also the favorite to win this event as well. Mm -hmm. And then you have Jurassic Ori, who has been playing... Uh, they've been playing a lot of French bread games recently, and they've been pretty strong at them. Uh, right now, hopefully, they stick with Undernight, because if, from what I talked to them about this game, it sounds like they pretty much understand a lot of the systems. They, right. they just need to work on matchups, because matchups is, you know, the hardest thing in this game when you can't play a lot of characters. Yeah, thankfully we have rollback now, so it's a lot easier to get that practice in. Mm -hmm. All right. It looks okay. like they're doing button check. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we we got to, you know, button check used to kill some time. But uh, I'll, I was going to say Uni is usually one of those games that's like a slower paced game. Well, in the past it was. Yeah, in the past it was. This version's a bit uh, much more aggressive than the previous ones. Yes. It's not like uh, they threw something at you like, oh, hey, now you got to deal with people flying across the screen at you for free. It's more like the increased meter gain, the increased damage across the board. Yeah, and the one other big change is that they made it so on successful shields, it'll accelerate the uh, Vorpal cycle. So you end up seeing Vorpal happen a lot more frequently in these games, too. All right, so I think I lied because Ori's playing Nanase for real, for real. Oh, okay. I was not expecting this either. All right, so Nanase is one of the characters who's got uh, a number of changes that the previous Nanase maids don't like, but a lot of other people who play against her really don't like. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, nice 2C to start that off. So, big block notorious will hold it down back until he gets a poke like that 2C there. Yep, and this should be big because it's going to put her in the corner. Ooh, shield. Ooh, oh. okay. Ooh, got blown up though. Yes, tried to stand tech there on that web setup. 
big black. Probably gonna spend the meter here, put him in the uh, web setup. Oh, or not? Oh. Wow. Okay. Goes for reset. Ori was ready to, to throw that reset attempt. Oy. Nice tech on that throw. Oh, all right. Ooh, CS. CS. Keep the pressure going. Ooh. So you can see how Big Black is just willing to hold on to his life lead. He doesn't have to overcommit to anything. Oh, no. Ooh, okay. Uh, Big Black was pressing buttons. He was trying to probably fuzzy match 5A. Yeah, and then Jurassic. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, rising J2C. All right, nice and easy. Should be able to spend AB. Yep, I do oh, yeah. Go straight for the kill. Yeah, it, like, yeah, you start the next round with no meter, but... Like, this this game just throws meter at you for free. Just, yeah, uh, just, just use spend, it. Just spend the meter, guys. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Ooh. All right, make that. Yeah, make that plus. Uh, Ooh, okay. Match on that? Oh, yeah, there yeah, that was minus. That's oh. at least minus seven, I believe. Yes. If Nanase does not have chain shift or 100 meter, then that's just uh, punishable by most cha character jabs. Yes, that's correct. Ooh. Ooh, 3D to get out, but gets punished on recovery. Yeah, also if you don't interact with anything on your roll, you lose like a block and a half of grid. So you have to yeah, so it's very risky to throw out there. All right, web tail, two set up, it's fine. Or he has to find a way Ooh, out, throw. no! Okay. One more touch here, ought to do it for Ryakia. All right, a lot of staggers coming out. Big Black trying to seal up this round real quick. Oh, Ooh, good shield. All right, Ori's about to get Celestial. Hey, yeah, spend meter. the meter to keep safe. Oh, oh what? what? Yeah, I'm surprised about that interaction, too. And he still has a cycle. All right, Big Black trying to chase down Ori. Yep. Dash B. Takes right. that first game very cleanly. All right, let's see if Ori decides to go back to character select. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see if they don't, if they want to do the mirror or not. Yeah, there oh, it is. Okay, all right, let's do this. A lot of people don't like mirror matches for some reason. Uh, I'll never understand that. Yeah. Uh, are, I, you, are you one of those mirror match haters? Uh, I actually am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Biaki have mirrors. Uh, I have never actually seen the Biaki mirror, so this should be very interesting. I feel like this mostly goes uh, in the hand of the person who can control the space, knows how to punish their own normals. Oh my god. Oh, oh okay. Anti 3C confirmed. Believe he's gonna have enough meter to go for the web setup after this. Doesn't go for it. Oh, counter hit. Looked like Ori was trying to probably press throw and wake up there. Doesn't get anything. Should spend 100. Yep. Oh. And he's gonna keep the cycle from this too. All right, 2-2 two, two, CS. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's such easy. a scary position to be in. <laughs> All right, so Ori's got to, you know, shake off the webs from the first game and the last round. But, you know, fighting Big Black is not easy. I, I say that, and they managed to get a clean it, confirm. Ooh. Yeah, ooh, okay. All right, back throw. Yeah, put him in the corner. Mm. Let's see how Big Black deals with this. Yeah, Big Black notorious for not really shielding when he doesn't really need to, except right there. Yeah, it's very uncharacteristic shield. Ooh. Look at but him stand outside oh, okay. of that range. My man's playing Street Fighter. Yeah, lots of poking with 2B here. Oof. Even though Big Black has a, a life deficit, he's, he's not willing to overcommit because he has a ton of time left on the clock. Yeah. Yeah, 60 seconds is a lot of time in uni. Oi, another throw. Yeah, I think Ori's figured it out. Like, try to see if Big Black responds yeah. to throws, but the 5A challenge. Right. Might spend 100 here. Hey, there yeah. Is. I think that's smart because, yeah, he's going to have the cycle on this. All right, just trying to poke out Ori, see if they stand up too early. Well, Ori holding down back. Oh, Ooh, okay. Nice counter poke there. Doesn't get a confirm off it, though. Oh, yeah, Ooh, jump 2C. Contests right. the dash up throw attempt. Oh, drops the combo, but gets another pick up off the reset. I, I think that wait. Oh, you oh, that might be dead, actually. Yeah, spend 100. Yeah, and then go for VO. Oh, oh, no. All okay. right. Last chance for Ori here. CS doesn't try to take the throw. Okay, hey. Dio. Ooh. Barely won the cycle off that. Chain shift doesn't see anything. Eight seconds left on the clock. Yeah, Big Black Ooh, just, he's, yeah. <laughs> he's escaping, he's leaving. And Biakio doesn't really, oh, Ooh, the 2-2-X, two, two yeah. the 2-2-C. Uh, 2 2 tracks wherever you are on the screen and it's very tall, so it'll catch you yeah. up the air a lot of times. Yeah, I probably caught him out of jump start up there. All right, Big Black got hit by that and was like, all right, no more playing around. Walks the overhead. And then yep. Ori takes their turn back right Ooh, away. Okay. He's gonna put Big Black in the corner off this. I'll drop the combo, but still keeps them maintain the pressure. All right, so Big Black's just kind of chilling. Oh my god. Except for whipping that normal. No TRM oh. for you, I react. Yep. Oh! Oh! 
Counter hit 5C, no. And then Big Black got the cycle off this. Uh oh. He's probably gonna look for maybe a. Oh, Ooh, okay. Yeah. Spends the CF to keep that confirmed. All right, gonna push to the corner. Might spend the meter. Yeah, yeah let's yeah. see. Yeah, I think he's gonna do it too. <clears throat> Makes sense. All right, gets the three webs. Now Ori is on the defense. Text the throw, but gets hit by 2B. Yeah, this. No, I don't think this is a round. He's still gonna need one more touch after this. Oh! Uh, actually, wait, no. IW? IW, yep. Yes, sir. All right, that's Big Black taking. Yep, game two games two. very clean. Yeah. All right, so he moves on the winners finals to face the winner of our next match that'll be coming up shortly. <clears throat> but good stuff to Big Black. Kind of expect uh, a lot of people kind of expected him to be in uh, winners finals because he's so strong. Yeah, he's been very consistent. Uh, like the way he plays Biak, the way he plays the game in general. Uh, even though he sometimes uh, picks another character like Sarugi, he'll right. he'll still down back you for a good while just to say, all right, what do you? trying to apply on offense. Even when he dashes up to people and he gets his turn, he doesn't commit right away because he's trying right. to figure out your, your defensive habits. Uh, maybe if you're one of those players who's just also down back in to try to react to everything. Right. <clears throat> yeah, Big Black is definitely one of those players that is very comfortable just sitting there and taking his time playing the game. I mean, you got 99 seconds to work with. You might as well use them, right? Yes, sir. Because, uh, like, uni time is very long. Like, that right. last the last round you just saw went down to, well, the second, the first round went down to, like, I don't know, like uh, five seconds. Yeah, seconds something like clock. that. It was like the last 10 seconds for sure. Mm. So it gets, it do, it's kind of a grind sometimes, but people still kind of explode in this version. Yeah. Due to a lot of the damage increases that we have. Yeah, especially with infinite worth now, it feels like you get like at least 1.3k minimum depending on the super, usually more. Yeah. So it's a very easy way to just get that momentum back. All right, so up next, it looks like we should have uh, Argon Ross versus Twang. Oh, so this should be uh, Akatsuki versus Waldstein. Yes. Uh, how do you feel about that matchup? As so I feel like a lot of the Akatsuki players think that this matchup actually leans a bit more towards Akatsuki favor. Because mm -hmm. even though uh, I would say Waldstein is better in the mid-range and long-range uh, positions, Akatsuki is very strong in the close-range area. His frame data is just way better than Waldstein's. Like, Waldstein's fastest normal is eight frames on his eight normals. And Akatsuki's fastest is like five frames. He, most of his frame data leaves him at like zero, minus one, plus one. So, Wald has a lot of. Wald has a very hard time counter poking and just being able to play defense against Akatsuki. Mm -hmm. But Wald does have uh, the three frame uh, command grab. Yes, that is true. So a lot of situations that like he might be, Twang might leave him at minus three. He could just get a blustered, and then all of a sudden the yeah. uh, match goes in the Arden's favor, depending on the situation. Yeah, Wallstein is one of those characters where like the second he gets any sort of momentum, he can just snowball you if he gets the right reads. Mm. All right, player is getting set up. They might have to do a button. Yeah, it looks like they might have to do a button check real quick. But this will be one of those characters a lot of people don't see. They don't see a lot of wall signs. In North America, mostly due to the fact that, like, I feel like a lot of people kind of are grappler phobic. They're just like, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, there's a grappler. No, man, get that out of here. We don't, we can't have that in our house. But uh, there, there are. Wall is not like your typical grappler, especially because he can assault for Right. So he can cover a lot of space on the screen quickly in the air. And as some as someone as big as Wall, that's very scary. Yeah, even though his movement is very slow, he actually has a decent amount of time like getting around the screen. He can also like arrest projectiles with his JC. And, but yeah, anyway, let's get back into this match. All right. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I believe he caught him with 1A, which is plus two. Oh, hey. God press ender. Time to pull up. Put him in the corner. Hey. Yeah. There's that A command throw, three frame startup. Oof. Ooh, try to J60 there. Parry. Ooh, nice parry. Oh, right, he's still oh. safe after that parry. Yeah. So with Akatsuki's parry, like, even if you trigger the uh, the counter poke thing, it's actually not punishable unless you throw him. Mm -hmm. So even if you try to, like, take your turn, that's the best you can do. You can only take your turn. You have to throw him to punish him. All right. EX guard press once again. Are getting a commanding lead. Twang trying to figure out. No. Ooh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> jump out of the super. Yeah, that's a common setup to see if you jump or not. So Very tough position to be in, though, because he has, yeah, we just use Warpole to keep the maintain, the pressure. Oh, oh. once again, oh, gets kind of poked. Every time Twain keeps trying to uh, re-dash from mid-screen, Argon's uh, forcing his turn back. Yeah. 
Argon is definitely recognizing when Twang wants to press buttons, and he's taking advantage of that. All right, jump 60 pressure. Trying to see if Argon's shielding any of okay. Oh, max range 5B starter. And he's going to win Warpal off this. So this is a very good position for Twang to be in. Let's go for the air throw ender. Yeah, that's very plus. Oy. Ooh, okay. Should be that's going to do a round? lot of damage. Yep, absolutely should be the end of the round. Might have to spend meter. Oh my Ooh, god. Okay. Yeah, I thought he was going to have to spend meter there too. All right, round start. Pulse swipe. Make it safe. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate VL. It doesn't want to deal with any wall pressure. Yeah, I respect that. Hey. Oh. oh, doesn't get the 6C, but he still keeps. Oh Ooh. my god. Count Got counter yeah. poke once again. God press Is he going to spend meter here? Yeah, he has God Press. Put him in the corner. All right, cycle's almost up. Oh, Ooh, okay. All right, counter throw. Counter Two way. Argon okay. probably trying to press to steal his turn back, but he gets counter hit anyway. Ooh, drop the combo there. It's a little weird. Ooh, Ooh. VO. All right. Argon's in there. He might spend a little bit of meter. Whoa, wow. <laughs> what, what a poke there. Claw swipe. Spend meter. Let's see if he goes for a reset or not. No, just no, gonna God Press okay. once again. Probably feels comfortable just having Warp Up right there. Yep, spends it immediately. Woohoo! All right. Twang should be yeah, able to Yeah, if he spends meter here. AB Ender? Should, yeah, keep it simple with the AB Ender. All right. I know Twang was kind of dreading this matchup because it's like uh, he's fighting someone of Argon's level playing wall sign. Right. And that's scary because you're like, all right, is he gonna respect me or is he just gonna like always mash a buster on me every <laughs> right, every right. frame frame trap I'm gonna do? <clears throat> but that that match was still kind of close because Ar yeah. Argon knows when he wants to try to counter out. Yeah, it was very back and forth. Oh, and then Twang immediately starts off with five B. <laughs> yeah, right back goes back for the air throw ender, pushes him to the corner. Ooh, Ooh okay. Argon might be trying to fuzzy jump there. Hard to tell. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Won the cycle with this. Ooh, got an end. Oh. Uh oh. Maybe we got a malfunction on the stick he's using or something? Most likely. Oh, no. Not like this. No. Oh, man. That's rough. <clears throat> All right. We got to see what the official ruling is. Hopefully, there is one because uh, sometimes uh, malfunctions do take place, but we're not sure since like the round is still early. Right. If they'll let it slide and just redo game two. Yeah, we'll find out in just a moment. Very unfortunate that that had to happen, though. Yeah, so sometimes it's uh, of a good benefit to check your stuff. Uh, like, even though they did a put, I'm, I think they did a button check. But while you do a button check, you're always supposed to just, like, make sure that any of your device peripherals is not going to, like, malfunction. Even though, like, he used it earlier right. in the day. <clears throat> Cause right, because you never know when that could happen. Like, even for pad players, sometimes, like, you just get the desync. And you're, oh, just, you're yeah. like, what's going on here? I'm plugged into the PS5, PS4. <clears throat> All right, we'll see what they say as a ruling. But it looks like it might just be uh, Twang takes game two. Yeah, or maybe just the round. We'll find out. Because they, uh, if he takes the round, they would have to not do anything because uh, meter preserves is preserved each round. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So we'll see if there's something Argon can do or it's just going to be... Oh, is that it? Oh. Trying to get a ruling over here, or he's trying to get a stick. I'm not, might oh, be one or the other. okay, yeah. <clears throat> and Twang's just like, I'm being iced, bro. What's going on <laughs> yeah. here? Yeah. You Florida boys are just making me sit out here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got the Linne. That's his uh, headband from winning the te Uni Team Tournament on Friday. Oh, that's right. Twang did win the 3v3 on yeah. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny that you say he <laughs> won it because. I think he had to play every uh, he had to play every uh, time his team went up. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so he, he definitely was grinding. He was like, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> Screw it. All right, Argon, he's, he's not feeling it, uh, understandably, but uh, yeah. you got to make the most of what you have so far. Yeah, I mean, worst case, this is still a winner's side bracket, so he'll still have a chance in losers if this doesn't go out according to plan. Yep. All right. You should probably just do the... In-game button check? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what the ruling is. It could just be they're going to hold, uh, not do anything, and let the timer run out so that way they don't gain any extra meter. Yeah, that <laughs> would be the smart way to go about it. 
<laughs> yeah, Ark does not look happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the blows. It, but you gotta, you gotta try to shake it off and maybe just make the uh, run back. Get the 2-1. Yeah, I just gotta shake it off as best you can. Cause I know if I was in this position, I'd be feeling really demoralized right now. I'd be like, you know what? I don't want to play no more. I I'm just gonna go home. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> that's rough. Yeah, they gotta, they gotta wait it out. Which gives Argus some time to kind of uh, recover. Yeah, at the very least, this gives them time to think about how the the last match went out and how he could adjust. Hopefully, Twang is not too. Uh, He's not too ice from this either. Yeah. It's a tough position for both players to be in. It really is. All right, waiting for the timer to be out once again. But uh, it looks like Twang will get this round, and then uh, Argon has to just somehow make a comeback. Yeah, normally I'd be rooting for my boy Twang, but after <laughs> what just happened, uh, kind of rooting for Argon Ross here. Oh, yeah, close my pits. Oh, okay. Damn, he went in instantly, too. He didn't waste. Yeah, just straight up went in. Mm, Mike's win meter here? There. Yeah. Puts him closer to winning the cycle. Ooh, very good shield, though. That gave Argon the cycle. Oh, uh, dash of 2A. All right. Yeah, dash 2A is cheap. It's so strong for Akatsuki in this version. It really is. Air surrender? Yeah. CS. Oh, oh nice. hey! Big read on the jump. This right. is going to give Twang the cycle, though, so he might wake up CS or do something. Yep. Uh, oh, good read there. Yep, A Buster catching him, probably pressing a button. Overhead block. Yep. Uh. Got a green shield. Yeah, scary green shields, but they're still working out. He's about to win the cycle unless Twang decides to throw. No. So, yeah, not much he could have done there, but shield right there after the CS. All right. EX clap is plus. Oh, doesn't get the full confirm, but he's still in a really good position so far. Oh my god! Ooh, okay, caught him low. It should be the round. Clap, there we go. Nice. Alright. And he gets to start the next round with 100 meter too, so that's nice. Oh, ooh. Yeah, Twang just deciding to dash block there, manages to get under the assault, gets punished. Yeah, and he puts Argon in the corner. Great position for Twang to be in, even ooh. if he dropped the combo. Oh, that's right! Damn. Argon's still in a position to win the cycle. All right, there's the CS. Yep, has yep. to make that save. Oh, Ooh. Twang being a little, a little patient now, kind of scared what Argon's gonna do. Ah, earthquake, new move. All right, Twang has the cycle, so he's just probably gonna send it with the B toss of CS. Oi! No, no command oh. grab for you here. Yeah, and J2C is a very good starter for Agassi. This is gonna hurt. Whew. All right, two-way pressure overhead. Ooh, no, overhead. We don't block those. He might win the cycle in time. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, I think he could have done CVO and killed, but still a good position for Twang. Oh. VO. All right. Twang has to weather all this meter. He has to make sure he doesn't... No! Oh, did it tag. That oh. was a yellow grab, my friend. Oh, my God, Woo! Damn. He, he, he Tatsu just, from downtown. He was just forcing that B Tatsu. He was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, got, I got meter. I'm sending it, bro. All right. So despite that last, uh, that last game going the way it did for Argon, yeah, because I think he played that pretty well. Yeah, he was doing pretty well. Like, maybe if his stick was working, it probably would have been a different story 1-1. Right. Kind of a little hard to tell, but uh, hopefully he's not too discouraged. He still goes into losers. Yeah, I agree. He definitely played that well, despite all the circumstances. All right. So, uh, once again, it's I guess it's a PSA that makes sure your stuff is working 100%, even though, <laughs> yeah. even though you can do it five minutes before it works, and then you boot up, and you're like, all right, this doesn't work now. Yeah, another good PSA is uh, maybe try to show up a day early to the event so you can also get practice on the monitors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, have your V-Sync off. Make sure your monitors are not in game mode. I forget how it works with a lot of these monitors. But, yeah, me too. But uh, we're grateful to have them uh, bring all these setups here because God knows that we don't want to bring our own consoles anymore. Right. So, a long gone are those days because that was not fun carrying a monitor. A PS4, PS3, you know, your peripheral, a bunch of games. Oh, yeah, especially during the uni old days when there weren't that many people playing the game. We always had to bring our stuff around. That, that, that was a different time. But yeah. now we, we have a time where we have another Akatsuki coming up on screen for y'all, I believe. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we got Vicky Viper coming up. Yeah, versus Makaya, so it's going to be a Linne this time. And uh, I'm going to defer to you again as the Akatsuki player to how, right. how you fight Linne. Uh, so, you know, this character, or this matchup is actually fairly even, I would say. Both characters have a pretty good way about dealing uh, with both of the tools each other have. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, 
Kuga, even though you can force function it, usually Linnea is still like relatively safe depending on how she does that. They both have very good normals. They're both in fighters, so they both want to like play around the same range. All right, and I, I don't know, Vicky. Uh, she was actually in winner's side top 16 before she lost her first match there. Got dropped down, and then I believe had to play twice. Oh, that's right. So uh, she she's got a, a lot more games in her than Makai. Maybe than Makai, but Makai did have to kind of trudge through top 16 loser side. A lot of hard fought matches there. But hopefully we get to see some uh, cool landing stuff on display because she's got that new force function. Oh, that's right. And then she also has that new follow up after Kuga as well. Yeah. So it makes it really hard to like, if you fought Lene for a long time, you're like, wait a minute, what's she doing? Right. Yeah. It's one of those things that you really have to get adjusted to the first time you play against her. All right. Makaya off to a great Ooh. start. Two throws. Probably trying to. <laughs> yeah. Great strike throw over here from Makaya. Ooh, and here's with Tatsu. Yeah, why is it so tall? Yeah, that's crazy. All right, Makai just trying to. Yeah, just holding a lot of this pressure because Vicky has Warble. Oh, oh, drops a combo, but still maintains pressure. Mm. Ooh. Oh, all right, gets a counter poke two way. Might side swap or just burn some meter here. Yeah, it's gonna burn some. Meter. Yeah, gonna burn the meter. All right. Yeah, and then Makai does get the life lead from this. So any clean hit from Makai probably wins the round because... Oh, this might be Celestial right here. Uh -oh. Yeah, okay. One very clean hit from Makai could do it, but Vicky also in a great position here. One more touch after this would kill, would take the round from either player. Uh, ADP? Ooh, ADP. Oh, wait, you're probably dead. Yeah, yeah definitely dead after this. Because <laughs> you were still in a Celestial after the chain shift. Whew. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, Celestial giving you a 20% damage bonus instead of the normal 10%. Yes, that's correct. Oh my god. Doesn't get the top two after 5C. Oh, nice block on the overhead. Yep, and then Makai takes their turn back with the 2C. Might spin meter. Get yeah, the, spin the meter. Get 25 back as well because you're in Warple. ADP change. Yep. Ooh, okay. ADP change shift JC. What? What was that? Yeah, I would not have blocked that either. That's crazy. All right. And Vicky in a good position here to win the cycle. Ooh. That, that was a great end here, confirm. Damn! Yeah, and that did 3k. Okay, let's go, Vicky. All right, empty jump low. <laughs> Ooh. Immediate reversal throw. Ooh. She That's did. GP. Okay. All oh, right. And she gets the confirm off that CS right there. Oh, uh, Makai's not dead, yeah. Almost. One Sorry. more touch. Could be anything. Oh, but uh, did he get DP here? That might take the round. Yup. Damn. The snitch. Oh, that was so close. The snitch mechanic coming in clutch. You see red and you have an invincible reversal, you just burn it. That's right. Sometimes when you approach somebody who has changed up on wake up and the round is really close, it might be hard for you to uh, concede your turn. Right. Because you're like, I'm about to win, I'm going to go in. But then you see change shift and you're like, wait, I just lost. So that's something a lot of players have to get used to still. Uh, 2C trade. Yeah, having Warple as a defender is so strong. Just having that option of wake up CS is really good. Anyway, both of these players are playing the neutral right now, feeling each other out. Ooh, oh. Ooh J6C. Yeah, chasing Makaya's backdash, gets a full confirm. All right, Makaya. <laughs> oh, missed the meaty there, that's unfortunate. Yep, Makaya takes the turn back with the 5A. Might, doesn't spend any meter. Ooh, that was an air throw OS. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, get off me. Yeah, I tried to throw again, didn't work out. Oh, uh, tried to counter poke, but got stuffed by Kuga. All right, Makai's gonna push all the way to the corner. Might spin meter. There we go. Helmbreaker. All right, gonna wake up, up CS. Oh, uh, the okay. 6C don't confirm. Ooh. Oh. This, this might be. Dead. No, you're, you're dead. You're dead. No, never mind. Okay. <laughs> if she did the AB yeah. and then the IW. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that was so close. Ah! Oh, okay. Still took the round. Let's go, Vicky. Stand Decker. Thanks, Hire. Oh, Ooh. okay. All right, doesn't get anything off the Mujin. Dash oh, yeah. back in 5B, damn. Yeah, that was a whiff punish on the 2C. All right, EX top two under does add extra damage. Ooh, wake, wake up DP. <laughs> Just screw it, I'm sending it. Oh, unfortunately, that back tech gave Mikai a Warple. All right, Mikai's just trying to get out the corner. Ooh, what? Uh, yo, that's fighting game hitboxes right there. All right, wake up CS is most likely going to happen here. There it is. Ooh, okay. Backdash. Makai just like sitting there waiting for Vicky to overcommit. 
Uh, we take those? <laughs> Ooh, backdash by V. This yeah. should take the round if you spend meter. DX. There oh, okay, didn't even need to. Yeah, you saw that last instance where after the throw tech, Makaya tried to dash up throw again, and Vicky just backdashed again. Right. So m maybe Makaya knows the adjustment they have to make there. Yeah, let's see. We'll find out. Ooh. All right, 6CC, nothing. All right, both of these players feeling each other out. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, Vicky getting a lot of mileage out of backdash by be this set. All right, AB under knockdown, has a cycle. Oh Ooh, my god. scary shield. Overhead. Ooh. Roll. Nice. Ah. nice. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think Makaya was trying to, like, fuzzy 5A or throw. Gets countered. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah, AB under. Yeah, Ooh, okay. Yeah, try to do a redash right there. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I didn't get the confirm, but Vicky over here Damn. about to be on set point. Yeah, counter hit 2B, full confirm. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, tried to do EX Fireball after that, but I got stopped by 2C. All right, Makai should probably spend 100 here, keep Vicky in the corner, secure a big life lead. Oh, a 2 c beats the throw. All right, Vicky might win the, yeah, she should win the cycle yeah. off this. Maybe spend the meter, yep, gets a refunded 25 meter back. No anti-air, no anti-air. Help, Ooh. he's jumping at me. Oh, and that was a TRM. Mitatsu, double overhead. Yup. Oh, double overhead. Doesn't get the confirm. Oh. Blocks the overhead. Woo! That, that last shoot was Ooh. close. Jump 60. Ooh, are you dead? No. no. Even if she spends meter here, still alive. AB Is she going to try? Yeah, okay, she's going to try. Yeah, throw will kill after this instance. Wait a minute. Th hey, why wow. are you dead? What <laughs> happened? That's crazy. Someone send that over to Say Jam. <laughs> Oh no, I'm on another one of Say Jim's. Uh, will it kill clips? Get me out of here. I'm not getting residuals. But uh, good stuff from Vicky because I 100% thought that was not going to kill Yeah, I, I was thinking the exact same. Good stuff to Vicky. Because uh, I thought after B Tatsu, she was just going to spend like 100 meter to get, uh, you know, get a yeah. knockdown, make it close to throw kills. But yeah, probably do EX Tatsu there, get the corner knockdown. Right, yeah. but, but I guess Linne has, I forgot what her HP total is. I think it's, is it lower than that? Uh, I think it's lower than the average. Mm. I believe so, but I'm not completely sure. So don't quote me on that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as you can see, Akatsuki, when he does Tatsu, it hurts. He does a lot of damage. He, he's out here, he's wilding. Yeah. Because uh, I know a lot of people are, they, they, they really gravitate towards Akatsuki. Oh yeah, I noticed that there's some uh, like, poll slash data, like taking uh, the data from like the ranking systems. And yeah, Akatsuki yeah. is like top three for like the most popular characters used, as well as Kaguya, I believe. Yes, yes. And it's I just like everybody likes doing Tatsu and just throwing fireballs. Yeah, he's a really fun character. He's very simple. Uh, and hopefully, you know, obviously we're going to see more of Twang, we're going to see more of uh, Vicky, but right now we're going to have the other person who wasn't yeah. supposed to even be here. <laughs> yeah, the guy that I'm replacing. <laughs> hey, there he is. There he is. Uh, Mr. Ally Cookie himself, uh, the residual gourd player from Florida. Uh, he, he, yeah, there's a joke that commentators, uh, you guys play the game, but no, he's, he's very knowledgeable. Uh, he's more knowledgeable than myself. I'm just gonna admit that right now. Like, right. I, I think I have a high knowledge of the game, but him, he surpassed me in a lot of instances. Yeah, Cookie has been around for a long time. Like, I think, like, right before, it was, like, right around... Uh, yeah, I want to say, like, somewhere, like, early ST, maybe, because I don't remember seeing him around in the U Uniel area. Exactly, yeah. yeah. In, in Uniel, it was, like, I remember seeing you, I remember seeing Brad, yeah. I remember seeing uh, Trill, I yeah, remember Trill. seeing, like, a lot of the old guard, and I was just like, damn, we're still around here, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it's been really cool seeing so many of the old heads come back for this version. Because it feels like this version is uh, the is the S is the like new ST, I guess. Is the yeah, I, I believe so as well. All right, so this should be a Nanase versus Bordeaux matchup. Yes, I'm not too knowledgeable about this matchup, but I was talking to Cookie about it earlier. I know he mentioned that um, it's very difficult for Nanase to throw out uh, fireballs in this matchup because mm. Gordo has a lot of strong tools to deal with it, with both with his force function and Mortal Slide. Mm -hmm. <coughs> But I know once uh, Nanase gets into that mid-range, like, 5v area, she's also very strong at, like, dealing with Gordo's pokes. Oh, already oh, dashed yeah. a 2v from Alarki. So now Cookie's got to keep his composure. But he's, he's pretty, uh, 
He's pretty disciplined on defense. He'll down back for quite a while to get try to get Ooh. the cycle, but he gets thrown there, loses it. Yeah, he got thrown at the last second too. He lost the cycle because of that. It's gonna be a very tough spot for Cookie to be in because he's not even gonna have meter for this. Oh, okay, but he dropped the combo. All right, there's the overhead. This is looking similar to how he uh, got here in the top eight in the last game. Ooh, Ooh hit him with the two B. All right, assimilation right. under. Cookie does have the resources to make a comeback. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's so sad. Unlucky is too far. He's just like, <laughs> yeah. And he definitely mouthed, I'm so bad? Oh, question mark? All right. Okay. Uh, let's figure out what's going on here, everybody. Well, thankfully, this happened right now and not like during the middle of the game. Yes. All right. Hopefully, the desync is not going to be a consistent issue, but we will figure out yeah. uh, <laughs> how to get this fixed. Yeah, if I were one of the players right now, I'd just go into like the PS5 menu and desync all the pads if they haven't already. Exactly. Because there's no reason for you to uh, let all that rock, especially when you know that, hey, if I know a desync might happen, let me just make sure. Like, zero possibility from outside sources. Yeah, definitely agree with that. All right, I guess they're still waiting for a ruling to see what happens here. Like, it's right before the match starts, so it doesn't affect anything. Yeah, but it should be fine, realistically, mm. but we'll find out. Because they're supposed, once again, they're supposed to have rules in place if it's like as the round is starting, nothing's going on. It should be fine, but you know. Yeah. But we don't know the official ruling, so we'll have to find out the hard way. Looks like they're going to go straight into it, though. Yep. All right. I'm just maintaining uh, Max Art. Oh! Ooh. Rusty Nail going right over Nanase's head. All right, and then I think Malarkey should win the cycle from this. Yep. Ooh! Yeah, it looked like Cookie was going to shield, but he didn't want to. Uh, okay, yeah, that was smart. I think otherwise... Actually, I don't know what that was. It looked like he, like, carrot canceled the backdash into VO. All right, Cookie still has an accelerated grid game because he's in Veil Off. <laughs> oh, okay, guard thrust. Yeah, he spent a little too early, and he lost the cycle off that. All right, and in the corner. Yeah, getting pushed into the corner, but takes the throw. Not a bad position for Cookie to be in. He's going to win the cycle. All right, doesn't oh. get to confirm off the 5C. There we go. Ooh, okay. All right, 4B starter, big damage. All right, let's not drop this, bro. All right, right in the corner, a sim, nice. Oh, it's a sim time. Oh, yeah, decided to just play it patiently because wants to secure the cycle. All right, Reaper chain shifts. Just trying to catch Malarkey out of the air. Ooh. Ooh. All right, he's going to have 200 meter for IW. He might spend it. it. I don't think it's going to be enough, yeah. Oh, uh, the, the 2A didn't retract in time. And uh, he doesn't block the overhead. He should be dead. Yeah, this might be death here. Oh, uh, uh, drops the combo. All right, Cookie, it's time to win, bro. It's oh, time to win. Okay. You can still do this, Cookie. Oh, he has so much meter. He has to change them, too. Bro, the 20 okay. seconds left Yeah, he's the clock. got all the resources. Hey, oh, nice. we can't block overheads. That's right. It doesn't matter how young you are, you're still going to get opened up. <laughs> That's right. All right, both players have zero meters so far, but that doesn't seem to matter. Ooh, Oy. concentrate 2A. That does work on people who are really defensive because it, yeah. it gets them to flinch. It really does. Strong position for Malarkey to be in. He's about to win the cycle. Ooh, with the throw. Doesn't counter poke. All right, Cookie's still just holding down back. He doesn't want to get counter hit. He's trying to react to throw as well. No! Ooh, gets thrown. Delay wake up. Yeah, he doesn't want to deal with the onion ring. Oh, oh, it gets clipped by 2B. Uh, that should be Yeah, that should round. be the game if you spend meter. IW? Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, that had to be a drop. Uh, I'm sure he wanted IW there. Ooh, that was scary. Almost got whip punished right there. Ooh. Oh, let's go. It's time to win, Cookie. Yeah, that 2B hit from so far. Side swap. Yep, AB ender to get the knockdown. All right, Cookie's going to probably be a little oh, bit Yeah, aggressive. that was plus. Woo! All right, he has a cycle. EX Reaper. Yeah, EX Reaper. Ooh, that was a scary whiff. Uh, yeah. but, and then wasn't ready to take the grab. All right, Cookie, get it together, bro. You can't be up there and then lose right away. That's yeah. not what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I'm taking your job, Cookie. <laughs> All right, he he's, looks like he's locked Ooh. in, but gets counter hit by 2B yeah. once again. One big stare down into 2B. Ooh. Ooh. This dash is Delay right throw. Yeah. Delay throw. We're going to see it again. Oh, okay. Five, oh, that's, yeah, that's hella minus. 
And it looked like Cookie tried to press again afterwards, so. Uh, still stuck in the corner. Yeah. Tough position for Gordo to be in, but hits him with 3C. Oh, he did not want that jump back, but you know, he yeah. still wins the cycle. Still wins the cycle, so it's not a bad position. Ooh, hit him with 5C. Alright, let's see if he decides to spend any meter here or just does the assimilation ender. Alright. Oh, Ooh, okay. Oh, oh. Alright, he's plus. Oh my god, yeah. I guess not. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was really weird. Alright, grit thrust. thrust. Oh, we're just, uh, just blowing, do it again. Blowing meter. Nah. Nice tech on that throw. Woo. He's close to winning the cycle, but. Yeah, he's... he might even get Celestial. Ooh. Ooh. He sees nice red. Tech. Oh, he tech that grab. Alright, okay. let's, go, let's go, Cookie. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he sent yeah. it with the DP again. My man is like, I know you're going to press buttons. Yeah, he knew. At least the one nice thing about chain shifting while you have Celestial is that you're more or less guaranteed to get like full 200 bar. Yep. All right. Cookie drops his confirm again. He gets yeah. smashed out. And Malarkey's going to win the cycle off this. <laughs> All right. Yeah, stay safe with that. Oh, oh stand tech. tech. All right, Cookie, he's not in a bad position, decides to no tech again. Oh, right. uh, yeah. Well, aren't you going to win the cycle? Oh, maybe not, actually. I, oh, yeah, he is. Oh, oh missed the DP there. All right, so Cookie has a chance to win the cycle again, but he has a lot of work to make up. All right, more 2A saggers. Yeah. Cookie not responding with anything. He's just chilling. Yeah, he's very, very, being very patient right now and is working out in his favor until now. Spoke way too soon. Oh, and takes extra yeah. damage off the grid break. Malarkey taking that with a clean 2 0. All right, good stuff to Cookie. Making top eight. He's going to get a headband. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's right. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you got to come out to the TNS next year, hopefully. Yeah, in fact, I, I I think more people should come out to TNS next year. It's been a great event. Yes. Uh, been having a good time. It's not like as big as the other events that, that are down here in Florida, but like that makes it more uh, accessible. You get to like walk right. around, not be surrounded by bodies. You can just yeah. kind of play wherever you want. It's really nice. Yeah, the, I was surprised that the venue is 24 hours, so I was able to pull up at like 8 a.m. and get games in. G 8 a.m.? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a salary man, bro. bro I wake up that early. In? Yeah, Damn. I'm clocking into uni, bro. I mean, I'm a sal uh, I'm not salaried, but, but you know, it's like, uh, it's a weekend. It's like a day off. Right. Like, this is, this is the only work I'm supposedly doing. But, you know, yeah. uh, if you're an undernight grinder, if you're at home, you're like, oh, I want to boot up and play. You can play right now. Everyone's on net play. You just hit ranks, you hit player matches, not that hard. Or, or if you're like, man, I only want to play people of a certain, uh, you know, skill level, you can go into the Unicord and there's... Oh, that's right. There should be a beginner... Um, yeah, there's a, a beginner, beginner net play server, I believe, mm. or channel, I should say. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that, that'll help out in case you're one of those people who's, who's intimidated by, you know, high level play. You don't want to <laughs> get clipped on Twitter because it's scary, yeah. but like it happens to everybody. It's fine. It'll happen, then you grow from it. You'll get better. It builds character. Yeah, Uni is definitely one of those games where a lot of uh, stronger and legacy players are mostly playing on and grinding on net play. Mm -hmm. So if you're a little intimidated by that, you can definitely always just come over to the server, go into like the beginner <laughs> channel, and just ask for games there. All like right. you can even just ask the top players for advice as well. Uh, uh, results may vary. Like, yeah, results may vary, but... <laughs> like, you can ask Squish for advice, and he'll give, he gives good advice. I've asked him for advice before, and it's it's like, you know, uh, okay emoji. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. But we up next, we have our loser's side matches coming up. It should be... So, Vicky Viper versus Jurassic Ori. Yes, okay. So, I don't know if Ori's going to go with... Um, Biakia or, or Nanase. Nanase, right. It's kind of hard to tell because it could be like a feel on how often uh, people play against Biakia. Right. <clears throat> but Nanase is just like very easy, very straightforward. You don't have to worry about too much. Yeah, I think both matchups are fairly all right for Akatsuki. So, I mean, either way, Vicky has a pretty solid chance at taking this. Right. Does it look like we have a button check? Yep. Just yeah, going right straight in. into it. So the one thing I really like about the Biyaki and Akatsuki matchup is that it's very footies based on like the very first interaction. Oh, okay. Starts off with a 5C. Gonna take the cycle from this because Biyaki does get uh, grid blocks every time he hits you with a, th a web. All right. Or he gets a 2B starter. Still has a cycle, so it's, they are probably going to spend a 100 meter right here. There we go. Yeah, smart to spend the meter, get the refund. Still what? stay at 100. <laughs> uh, try to wake up Tatsu. Didn't work out. Uh-oh. Drop combo. Oh. Vicky immediately ready to uh, mash after. 
but you know, change it to 2 3 6 C. Yeah, and that took the round. The Celestial damage might have helped there with that, actually. Hey, uh, hold up forward round start, because I guess Ori has a read on Vicky, always backdashing most instances. Oh, yeah, might have caught that last game where she was getting a lot of mileage off backdash by B. Oi. All right, throws the oh. parry. Yeah, and she gets thrown into the web, too. Ooh, Ooh. probably tried to jump at the last second, got clipped by 2A. Spence meter, yep. Yep. Set up the three webs. All right. Yeah, very scary position. Ooh, okay. Managed to get out of the web setup with that parry, but unfortunately got hit. All right, that should, that be, should be the game. Woo. All right, very clean from Ori. You, you can yeah. see that... Uh, that their Byakuya practice is paying off because, like, every time, every other time there was a hit, Vicky did not know how to escape uh, Byakuya pressure. Yeah, it definitely feels like Orie has a better understanding of this matchup than Vicky. Uh, there's the shield oh, yeah. jump 6C, punish for 5A. Uh -oh. oh, drops the combo, but still in a good position for Ori to win the cycle. In fact, uh, one Celestial. Ooh, doesn't get Ooh. the 5A punish that time, but it's okay. Oh, Ooh, God. Okay. That was almost a grid break throw. Oh, dash C confirm. Are we going to get Ooh. the full thing? Yeah, we do. Okay. Wow. Yeah, very nice pickup. Spend 100. One more. All right. Uh, Ooh, nice parry. No meter for 236C, but it's okay because look at all that meter gain down there. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, okay. All right. Uh, two throws. Are we going to see a third? No. Oh, there it is. Oh, max range 5C, five, five 22. Two. Full confirm. Oh. Uh, Probably gonna spend 100, I assume. Yeah, spend the 100. I don't think 200 would have done it. All right, pull up. Oh my Ooh. god. This Immediate is... attack. And Ori once again has Celestial, so we see if Vicky manages to get her turn this time. Shield? Yep. Yeah. Noticing that Vicky is throwing out fireballs a lot less. Oi. Ooh, okay. AM, and there it is. Yeah. Ori Ori's reading a lot more of the back dashes with like dash B and the late 2C. Oh, yeah. Ooh, shielded the JC and got a punish off that. All right, gonna corner carry once again. Might, yeah. might spend 100 meter if they're close enough to the corner. No, no, no okay. Take the Rekka Ender. Oh, Ooh, didn't take the goal throw. Oh, yeah. uh, got the TRM. Maybe try to parry on Wake Up. And then the fast web in, uh, immediate overhead. Uh, that should be GG if Ori does I dub. Oh, oh okay. Wait. Goes for the setup. Uh oh. Uh, drops the uh, web setup, but <laughs> got hit by the web anyway. <laughs> That's the the classic uni stare down into. Are you gonna do something? Yeah. All right. So Ori moves on to losers semis, I believe. <clears throat> and I think they await the winner of. Uh, I believe it's Arg. Gin and Micaia? No. I maybe? I'm not sure. I, I already forgot. I already forgot. Yeah, I forgot as well. I, it's, I, I, w I wish we had a bracket that we could look at right now. Yeah. Uh, on the side, maybe? Possibly? Uh, guys, yeah, I'm like guys, trying to pull it up on guys? my phone right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I'm trying to use my my own memory for this stuff, but sometimes like while you're watching a match, stuff just uh, drops out of your head. And you're like, all right, I, I forgot what was going yeah, on. Yeah, it's here. difficult to remember sometimes, but. Looks like Aurier would be playing the winner of Argon and Malarkey. Malarkey, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah. All right, so it's going to be Wald, Nanase most likely. And honestly, it feels like Wald can fight Nanase because uh, his claws negate projectiles. Yes. Uh, he has large limbs that contest Nanase trying to fly through the air. Uh, has anti-air grab, has anti-air claw swipe, a three-frame command grab. Am I missing anything else? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, Wald definitely has all the tools to deal with Nanase, both like mid-range and up close. Mm. So we'll see if Malarkey has like any uh, idea of like, oh, this is this is wall scene. I know what to do, but you know, you're in top eight for a reason. You have to have some practice versus most of the cast. You should be chilling. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> should know something about this matchup. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go in and you fight wall, and you're like, wait a minute, that's three frames. Wait a minute, that's unblockable. Right. Or that's a grab. You don't you don't want to get tricked up. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, like one of the big jump scares is also uh, his 1A being plus 2 as well. A lot of people, well, that's also because it's 8 frames. So. Yeah, it's 8 frames. So you're like, oh, this button's slow, but then you block it, you try to mash, and he counter hits, so you're like, oh, wait, I forgot. Right. It's definitely one of those things that usually catches newer players off guard when you're, like, learning the matchup. Hmm. All right, going to do a uh, real quick button check. Make sure everything's working. No slip-ups like last time. Yep, definitely a button shot. <laughs> All 
All right, so once again, hopefully there's no uh, uh, malfunctions. We just get some, uh, I was going to say clean gameplay, but we all know how that goes sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You can't always play at your best, but hopefully we just don't get any malfunctions or any issues like that last time. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like they're both ready to go. <clears throat> so uh, Malaki on... On a lot of defense, he will commit to doing uh, reversal DPs because he he is uh, assuming that you will try to take a turn back really aggressively. Right. And he's like, okay, DP dissuades that. But let's see if Argon kind of has a read and decides, okay, I will block for a little bit before I swing. Yeah, it's very interesting to see how Malarkey's going to adapt to Argon Rost. I'm actually not sure. Is, is Malarkey like a clear player or is he like a newer uh, SC player? Uh, I'm not sure, Cookie. That's where you're supposed to be here, bro. Yeah, you're Cookie would definitely us. know. <laughs> God, yeah, way that is, bro. Because yeah, I'm not familiar with Marlarkey, so I think he's a clear player, or maybe he's a UV2 player. I'm not sure, but anyway, Argon Ross starting off pressure strong with claps. Uh, he's about to take him to the corner with his starter here. All right, he also gained a lot of grit from that confirm. Yeah, in a very good position to win this cycle. He might actually spend CS immediately, or not. All right, midi jump C. Oh, uh, gets contested. She's red. Ooh. Oh, yeah, she was airborne during that 6-6-B. Very fortunate for Malarkey. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. And it's, it's scary to shield wall in that part of the screen because because he can assault forward with his normal and just command grab you for trying to shield the jump in. Yeah, shielding a, a wall when he's in the air is always very scary. All right, Ar Argon kind of just stake it to the air now, trying to be not say himself. Ugh. Clap, apply slow pressure. Well. Ooh, that was like a, okay. Spend some meter, there we yeah. go. Blocks the oh. overhead. Yep, spend CS to keep the pressure. Ooh, claw swipe, no, no yep. cancel. No All cancel. Right. Oh yeah, so wall 623A is actually minus three in this version. Oh so. my god. Yeah. Uh -oh. Sometimes trying to counter poke after that is very scary. All right, Argon might wake up CS, there it is. Yep, shields a projectile. He can still win the cycle. Yeah, hey. definitely he was gonna win it off that. Oh Ooh, my! Okay. <laughs> you can't let him fly at you like that for free. Oh you... yeah. If he spends meter here, it should take the game. It'll be really close. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. try. Yeah, he's definitely taking it with this. Woo! I W minimum damage is so high in this version. It really is. All right. So it looks like Argon's got uh, shook off uh, what happened to him in Winterside. Looking really strong so far. Yeah, look at him. He's focused. He's, <laughs> he's locked in. He's, locked, he's hella locked in. All right, dash B. Ooh, Ooh any air 5A. Tries a counter poke, gets hit. Oh, Ooh, there we yeah. Go. Gets the punish off of the uh, sword card follow up. Yeah, and it was a very nice thing that he actually shielded that follow up too. Otherwise, he wouldn't have gotten that punish too. Overhead, we block those. Hey, Ooh. dash up A Buster. Mmm, fuzzy 5A to stop the approach. Ooh, okay, <laughs> yes, command throw. It's not gonna take the cycle, but he, maybe one or two hits, and that should take the round for Argon. Ooh, earthquake, and new moves. Ooh, Ooh EX dive. I'm not sure if he tried to anti air there, but uh, he got counter hit, so he's gotta hold this. <laughs> Immediate throw attack. Ooh. Fairly right. even position for both players. Oh, but Argon's gonna take this with that command throw. Yeah, it's it's really scary to see Wald like dashing at you slowly, and then you're like, yeah. wait, I can swing here, and then he hits you with A Buster. Yeah, dash A Buster is so scary and so strong because it's three frames. All right, guard presses the other corner. All right, how are you gonna get out of here? Oh! Once again, yeah. the, the up grab to stop the jump, and then the immediate command grab. Yeah, such a strong option that covers two options at once. All right, Malarkey decides to mash out there and gets his turn back. Ooh, Ooh. Santec, but doesn't get a punish. Oh, doesn't yeah. block high. All right, Malarkey gets another confirm. Cycle's almost in his favor. Oh, okay, Argon still takes the cycle with this. Overhead, CS. Yeah, yeah VO. VO oh, okay. back. VO back. That, that's still the classic. Yeah, the uni classic. Oh my. Ooh, wait. this is gonna hurt. Wait, are you dead? Oh yeah. Oh my god, you're yeah, dead! Yeah, he's dead. I, I love VO damage, bro. <laughs> VO damage is crazy in this game. Oh, my goodness. 
Yeah, that's good work, Gin. All right, all right, good stuff, Argan. Good, good work, good work. Yeah, very nice to see him take that after ha what happened in winners. Yes, uh, he he managed to bring it bring it back, and he looked very dominant in that in that set so far because like uh, sometimes when you get that malfunction earlier, you're just like, I don't even want to be here anymore. Right. Why am yeah. I playing the video game? But Ar Argan, he kept his composure, brought it back, and he showed you what uh, some high level art uh, wall play is in North America. Yeah, that's right. All yeah, right. it's very nice to see a lot more wall representation, especially in this version where a lot of people think he's strong. I mean, I, I definitely think he's strong because just because of the fact that he has that new uh, earthquake move. Yeah, that's and very strong. Like the fact that it uh, covers the whole screen. Yeah, it goes full screen. It's very strong against projectiles. He's been, since he's been getting so much better uh, over the last like year or so, he's been placing a lot higher and more tournaments. I don't think I've seen Twang play this matchup before, so I'm very curious to see how he handles it. I'm personally a very big fan of Byaki Akatsuki. The round start <laughs> interactions are very great. Because the thing is, like, um, Byaki is not very safe on his normals, so he has to commit if he's going to be, like, the first person to press a button, because nothing he does is safe without resources. Ooh. All right. Twang just trying to make sure he wins the cycle, doesn't overcommit. Yeah, he's about to win Celestial. Oh my god, he took that throw too. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Shows no signs of taking the throw and just like reacts instantly. Ooh. He's gonna win Celestial off this again, immediate CS. He's gonna get 200 meter for this. Oh, but he gets clipped Ooh. by 2B. All right. Time to see the corner, my friend. Is he gonna spend the meter to put him in the web setup though? We'll find out. Guess no. not. Yeah, Big Black uh, typically likes to have a little bit more meter before he decides to uh, dump 100. Makes strike. sense. All right, no strike throw there. Twang's holding down back. He still has Warpool, by yeah, the way. Yeah, standing on full resources, so maybe we'll see something on Wake Up. All right, Big Black manages to get the cycle due to the webs. Spends 100 there. Yeah, gets refunded to 25. Hey. Uh, throws him into the web. That should be the round. Yep, chain shift to get some additional meter during that combo as well. Fighting Big Black can be kind of draining because you sometimes he's just sitting there and you're like... Yeah, like, like how do I open him up? And you're like, what am I supposed to do? This guy's just blocking all my stuff. And, and that, and because you need such a, usually a uh, slower paced game, that can be draining because you're just trying to figure out a bunch of options. Yeah, it's very difficult to get the player to like flick black. Oh, immediately took his turn back with 2A there. Huh. All right, what's the A top 2? Yeah! All right, Air throw OS. Reacts to the assault. Bump, bump, bump. He's gonna spend the meter, keep him in the corner with the knockdown. All right, Big Black has chain shift, so yeah. he might he might try to do it on this wake up. Nope. Ooh. Oh. Whiffs the throw, that's unfortunate. <laughs> all right, sad times all around. Uh, oh. Whiffs the green shield, unfortunately gives up the cycle because of it. Yeah, he, he bled some grid there, gets a forward throw. Oh, it's strike throw, time with uh, webs. Oh. Counter Tatsu. poke with Tatsu. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> It's because he got the shield, isn't it? Yeah. If you shield the last hit of B-Tatsu and you try to EX uh, Fireball there, there is a gap you can actually reversal through. All right. It's only if he does the uh, EX console on the ground, though. Oh, all right. So Big Black taking there with the web strike throw setups. Uh, Twang was, was trying to react there, but it's kind of hard because you're looking for either an assault or like a walk back to bait, whatever option you're trying to do there. Yeah. And Byakuyo's normals are very fast, too, so it's like very hard to be in that position. Oh. Ooh, J6C. It, it looked like Big Black waited at the last second to anti air and it was too late. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh oh. Fourth throw. Strong start for Twang. Ooh. Right, Jump well, back JA. Yep, gets the 171. <laughs> Ooh, wake up Tatsu. All right, gonna, gonna get a good chunk of damage here. Let's see if he decides to spend meter. Gets the 2A pressure. He's trying to win the cycle, but he doesn't want Big Black to just yeah. uh, sit back for free. Very good position for Wang to be in. Oh. Ooh. All right, walk Almost back. Almost spoke too soon. Trying to bait out something, but there's a chain yeah, shift. Chain shift. It's about to give up this. Ooh, okay. Hit him with the 2C. Caught Big Black pressing something. All right, Swang looking good so far. All right, he's trying not to shield because he, he doesn't want to get baited to bleeding grid like right there. Yeah. 
Now Big Black on points for winning this cycle. Ooh. Or not. Ooh, very good shield from Twang. But he gets counter hit thrown. Ooh. Parry. Parry. Oh. oh, that's rough. And he gets tagged by 5A to try to rebeat. All right, he's going to hold this quarter pressure. Big Black's going to spend 100 meters. Yeah, definitely going to spend the meter here. One, two. All right. Scary position for Wang to be in. Ooh, up back to the web. But Ooh. he tries to stand. Heck, and that should be the round for Big Black. Absolutely. All right, just going to spend it. the resources here. Yep, VO. IW next. There we go. Yep, there we go. Nice and easy, making sure you get max damage out of that. All right. So oh, okay. Twang wasn't doing uh, too bad that round, but you know he got yeah. clipped. One Jesus. Ooh. Okay. Round start. V Tatsu into IW. That's the classic for round three. Forty-two thirty-three damage. All right. Two A pressure. Big Block immediately takes a turn back. Ooh! Ooh! He was so ready for that. That's so sick. All right. Takes a knockdown again. He should win this cycle. He's being way more aggressive now. He's feeling yeah. it. Yeah. All right, he's going to lose the cycle based off the grid blocks for Big Black, but... Yeah, probably going to spend CS here soon. Yep, there it is. All right. Oh, 2 way no confirm. Now he has to... Uh, uh, not got, like this. Got counter poked with 5A. Now he's going to get put back in the corner. All right, Big Black should spend some meter here because he... Oh, oh drop, drop the combo. Oh, uh, uh, TRM. All right, time to pull up. Try to whiff punish once again. Still has the left shield. Twang trying to get out yeah. and secure this round. Ooh, okay. I think at this point, Twang is in, like, in a situation where if he gets touched one more time with full resources, he might be dead, depending on the starter. Big Black gets a cycle once again. Twang also just Dude. it feels like he needs one good combo and he'll win this yeah. round. Yeah. One very good touch from either player will take it. All right, Twang's about to win the cycle. Ooh, yeah, very Let's good thought go! to clear the web. 22-33. Right. Wait, he did that twice in the same round, bro. Yeah, twice in the same round. Bro, check him meter. <laughs> What's good with that? That had to be like 90% of his life right there. Just those two Tatsus into IW. All right. Twang just making sure he can somehow oh, not get counter poked like that. That was such a good confirm right there, too, from Big Black. All right. Going to take a knockdown. Might set up one web. Nope. And he's going to take the cycle off this. Yep. All right. Going to try to stagger up Twang. Web. Oh. Ooh. He didn't wait long enough, and he put a yeah. button into the web. Spin. Yeah, maybe try to do like a two-way DOS or something. Ooh. More staggers coming out. Twang trying to shield to win the cycle. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, nice tech on that throw. One more chance for Twang. Unfortunately, Ooh. got hit by the Rekka. Yeah, it looked like he tried to jump there. He got hit on jump start up. Yeah, that's what it looks like. All right. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, fourth throw in the other corner. Gonna push. Oh, yeah, Ooh. there it is. But then he gets hit by yeah. the Tatsu. Yeah. All right, okay, yeah, there. simple combo to try and take the cycle. Fortunately, it didn't work out, though. All right, 2B counter poke. Gonna push the corner. Probably spend 100 meter. Absolutely gonna do that here. I'm pretty sure. All right, there we go. All right. All right, what's the mix? Ooh, oh, oh, yeah, try to catch him on the landing there. Uh, try to bait out a stand tech, but Big Block is holding down back, being vigilant. Yeah, very patient play from both players here. Ooh. Cycle going towards uh, Big Black's favor. Ooh. More more whiff normals. Oh, Ooh. counter into seat. No. Uh, it shouldn't kill, but one more touch after this will do it. Yep, spins the hundreds, sets up the two webs, has one down underneath. Parry, loses parry. the cycle because of the parry. Ooh. There's still a web in front of Twang. B Tatsu gets rid of it. Oh, yeah, that was smart. Does uh, Empty cancels the B Tatsu in the EX Fireball. Keeps pressure. Oh, Keeps no! Pressure. Uh, shielded, but doesn't get a punish. B Tatsu again, chain shift. Ooh, okay. That was a scary shield. The X Fireball. The X Fireball. He's trying to uh, poke out Big Black. Oh, oh my God. okay. Psycho might go towards. Yep, Big Black Labor. Oh, uh, he tried to press a button and he got tagged by the Rekka. Yeah, there was 13 seconds left on the clock, so Twang might have been feeling a bit more pressure to press buttons at the end there. But this is a winner's final, so this is a three out of five set. 
All right, more. Big Black still going back to playing Ooh. patient. Oh, and Twain yeah. got a little uh, trigger happy on the stay attack there. Yeah, this is going to be a very strong start for Big Black, putting him in the corner. And he's going to win the cycle. Hey. And he has 100 meter now. All right, strike throw once again. Oh, uh, TRM. TRM. Yeah, he's just waiting to see how Twang responds. And he's noticing that he's not uh, getting any more immediate throw techs. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Dash of Eitatsu. Big Black taking his turn back. Still has the cycle. Ooh. Ooh. And he gets a side swap just for hitting J6E like that. Okay. Drops the combo but gets the throw after. Oh, uh, TRM, but still has the cycle. All right, throws Twang back mid screen. Not sure if he wanted to do that, but he still has a decent life lead. But yeah, Twang still has the uh, resources to be able to come back from this. Definitely has the time to make something happen as well. Yeah, now both players have about the same life lead. Wow, what a concentrate. We block those overheads. More staggers. Big block yeah. not biting. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> he sent it with yeah. another Bitatsu. Twang just ready on those trades. Hey, he tried to mimic uh, the last game there. Yeah. He was right. really hoping that he would have pressed the button on that whip. All right, air throw in there. Has a bunch of grids. Big Black not shielding anything. Oh, he Ooh, does take that nice throw. nice on that throw. He's going to give him the cycle. 2B counter poke. Yeah, goes for the side swap. Might spend 100 meter here. There we go. Set up some webs, and now Twain has to worry about the overhead. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, hit him with the 2B, but doesn't get the confirm, thankfully. Oh, Ooh, hit him with the... What move is that again? Uh, charge 3C. Charge 3C, yeah. <gasps> All right, drop combo. Oh. No! He Whip. sent it! Yeah, tried to DP, but unfortunately whips it. And now Big Black is going to be on set point. I, I guess Twang decided to DP there because he thought Big Black would force his turn back again. Oh, again. Unfortunately, didn't get a confirm off that, but... Oh, yeah. All right, another Oops. TRM. Ooh, very scary shield. He's got a good tech. Ooh! Oh, there's nice the Bitatsu. Tatsu. Yeah. All right, change shift in the full confirm. Uh, drops the combo, drops the throw. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully, uh, Twang isn't feeling nervous here. Ooh. All right, five BB. Yeah, Big Black's going to win the cycle. Yeah, he's trying to catch Twang uh, pressing a button in between all these staggers. That's a chain shift. All right, yeah. Big, Big Black's like trying to end it right now, and he Ooh. gets the overhead. Yeah, Big Black's going to take the life lead and win Warple off this. All right. This might be Twang's last chance if he gets hit again. Yeah, very scary oh. position here. Overhead block. Blocked the overhead. I still had to block the web on the <laughs> incoming. Ooh, Ooh, try to catch him blocking that web. And he takes the throw, my goodness. All right, this is change shift. Big Black trying to secure meter. And Ooh. there's the there's yeah. the anti-air on the jump 6C. All right, Big Black moves on, 3-1. He's in grand finals, winner side. Yeah, very strong showing from Big Black. Definitely showing everybody that he is the favorite here. Mm. And, and, it, uh, and again, it's hard to fight against uh, a player like him because he's willing to like, sit and wait for you to uh, create to create pressure, right? So you can see how your offense is structured. Then he's like, "All right, I'm gonna counter poke with this, or I'm gonna know how to shield so I can get the cycle." Yeah. And, and it gets really hard to fight someone like that because it feels like you can't open him up. Right. So you start like defaulting to uh, weirder decisions. Yeah, it's very very hard trying to open up a player like that just because you know he'll just sit there and wait, and while he, you're doing your pressure on him. He's going to take all that information on like how you're structuring your pressure, and then he's just going to eventually counter poke. And then next thing you know, you're going to be put in the corner, and there's going to be a web set up on you. Yeah. And then you got to make sure you don't get uh, throw reject missed. And, and like it gets looped into itself. And then all of a sudden, you're like, all right, I lost yeah. all my HP. It's round two. What happened? You know? Yeah. It, it gets kind of hard fighting Viaccio like that. But uh, it, it is uh, to his to his merit that he's so strong because right. uh, even though it looks sim it looks simple, uh, it's very hard to fight. Yeah, it is. Because you have to deal with like a lot of, oh, is he looking for shield? Is he looking for a reversal? Is he just waiting to get the cycle by doing nothing? Because Viakia does like to do that a lot. Yeah. I feel like Viakia is definitely one of those characters where like I feel like if you have very strong fundamentals, you can very easily take advantage of that. Yes, yes. All right, hopefully, there's a, I'm not sure if we have our next match set up. But uh, 
once again, thank you all for joining us here this evening yep. because, you know, uh, well, afternoon depends on what time it is where you are. And as you can see the bracket, we're waiting for Argon and Ori the, to get up there because that's our loser semis match, which yep. should be Wald versus either Byakia or Nanase or whatever ever character that o Ori plays because they're a French bread player. <laughs> right, yeah. I feel like most <laughs> French bread players like, have like at least one or two pocket characters just for no reason. Because they're like, oh, the game's fun. I, you know, execution's not too hard. Just uh, play your character for a while, learn, you know, some setups, learn some matchups, you're good to go. Yeah. Definitely feel like picking up a lot of the more obtuse characters like user Riha too also like helps you learn or understand the character a lot better too in case you're like having trouble with that matchup. Yeah, because you get to when you play against a character who you're like, I don't know what to do at all, if you play as them, like just in training mode for right. a little bit, you'll be like, oh, that's the way this works or oh, that's the way that works. Yeah. You get a, a deeper understanding so that way it's less obtuse when you fight them in bracket and you're and you're not confused anymore you're like okay i i know how to fight this now yeah especially with the game actually giving you a lot more uh, in-game tools to actually like figure out how to deal with these characters too both with uh new to uni 2 we have frame data in training mode Woo! and you could also take over replays and uh like figure out where you're getting hit how to like deal with this situation that you got hit in yeah, yeah. it's very great for learning the game uh, <laughs> the replay takeover is actually amazing because there's a lot of situations where you hit somebody with a combo and you think, could I have killed there? And you just oh, yeah. replay that over and over until you figure out what the optimal thing is. You're like, oh, yeah, I could have. All right, cool. I learned it. Yeah, I'm very thankful that they added that to this game. It's been so useful for learning the game. Yes, yes. All right. So, yep, here's our loser semi final matchup here, Argon and Ori. Uh, Argon's still going to be playing Wald, but it's going to come down to, does he know how to fight uh, either of Ori's characters at this point? Yes. And I'm not sure how much uh, experience Argon has against these characters, so we'll have to find out. Because once again, I, I I do think a lot of play people aren't downplaying Nanase. It just feels like she is getting played quite a lot, but yeah. there's still a lot of unfamiliarity against her. I think so as well, yeah. But I'm glad that a character as strong as her is getting a lot more representation too, because like in the previous versions, like even ST, where she was like good, but not like top tier strong, we only had, like, I think 2 Gigabyte was playing her, and maybe, like, one other person. Uh, I think 2 Gig, oh. Wish, and... Oh, yeah, 2 Gig, Wish, and Cheesy. Cheesy, yes. Yeah. yeah those are so the three players. The Nanase of proponents. Uh, but I feel like they're... I know 2 Gig dropped her for Carmine. Yes. Because he's... Uh, he's Don't not... blame him, because Carmine is kind of cracked uh, in this version. I, I, he used to play Carmine as well, so... Oh, yeah. He was just like, oh, my character's good again? All right, I'm in there. Let's get <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't blame him for making that switch. But uh, if you're at home wondering, like, oh, how strong are these characters? There's a lot of uh, uh, discourse about, like, who's strong. But it feels like everybody in this game is yeah. strong. Yeah. I feel like there's only maybe two characters at most where some of the player base is like, oh, I don't know if these characters are any good. And that would be, like, Kaguya and Chaos. Chaos. But aside from that, it feels like everybody has, like, strong opinions about the characters they play. Like, even Hilda, too, I know a lot of people put her on, like, the lower end, but I think she's still pretty good. Yeah, because I know the Hilda players out there would be like, no, what are you talking about? Our character is uh, bottom X, right? Right. But it's like, she still demands that you understand how to uh, play the game at a very basic level. Yes. And have a very basic understanding of Hilda, and if you don't have that, she'll just run over you. Yeah, absolutely. All right, here we go. Loses semifinals. It's going to be Argon. Okay. Once again, Argon playing Wald and Ori playing, playing Byakuya. Byakuya this time. All right. Not going to be seeing the Nanase unless he maybe decides to switch. I'm, I'm assuming it's most most likely because Byakuya's yeah. level is a little bit longer than Nanase's. And he has probably a little bit uh, more mobility due to web sets. Oh, my Ooh. God. Well, I guess that doesn't matter now. Yeah, get my jump C. just immediately start off with charge JC. Put him in the corner with the God Press. All right. Oh, Ori ooh. Ooh, gets the death. Nice counter poke with 5A. Doesn't get a confirm. Uh, gets the throw reject yep. miss. Oh, ooh, wake up ADP or ASD. <laughs> yeah. And wake up A Buster. I got yeah. you. I got you. Yeah. All right. Argon has to worry about Ori's chain shifts, maybe? Ooh. Oh, oh, my ah! God. He definitely tried to buff for 360. He didn't get it. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. But it worked out very well for Ori. Oh. All right, there's the A-Buster once again. Oh Ooh. my god! We're gaming. We're walled gaming. 
been a very silly set so far. I'm about this. I feel like uh, if you play wall, you, you just have to assume people are trying to swing at you most times. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to let things rip. Alright, Argon slowly winning the cycle here. Oh god! Ooh, that back tech might have cost it. Oh, never mind. Argon still won the cycle off that. Uh, he got counter poked once again. Or he's gonna get a full confirm. Might spend yeah, 100 might meter. Yeah, might spend the meter. Uh, yeah. yeah. There we go. Let's see if Argon decides to do immediate wake up CS or hold it. Oh! Uh, yeah. He tried to claw swipe to get rid of the webs, but I guess they... Uh... Yeah, I think the top one ended up flipping him anyway. All right, back in the same situation. Ooh, try to press another button on Wake Up. All right, Ori doesn't have any meter, though, so they will need a full confirm. Ooh, button. nice shield on that overhead. Ah, uh, doesn't take the throw. It's tough. <clears throat> so let's see if Argon is just going to be more hyper-aggressive round start. Yeah. Make that save. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you have to be careful where your shield uh, walled from because he does have a B command grab that goes pretty far. Yeah, because they got the green shield on the uh, EX clap, that was super plus too, so that extended the green shield frames like quite a bit. Oh, clean 3C from Ori for an anti-air. But they don't have any meter. Oh god. Oh, yeah. Drops but gets a reset. Should have the meter to go into... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, yeah! Yeah, base the Neo. Let's go. All right. This won't kill, but Ori's not in a good position after all this. Yeah, this combo should last a lot long enough to... Oh! No, you need to hold up. You got to hold up on that. Yeah. Not sure what happened there. Dropped the combo and got woke up by W'd. No. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Argon tried to swing there and just got hit by clean 2A. All right, well, let's see if Argon decides to go back to character select or not. Nope, going straight into it. Ooh, <laughs> round start dash B, trade. And Argon trying to walk back. Oh. Ooh, shield the JC, got a punish on that. But then got hit with the overhead reset. All right. Going to push to the corner once again. Woo. Ooh. Yeah, Argon was ready to press buttons on that drop. All right, going to get a knockdown here. Yeah, playing on the mid-screen game. So now Ori's just trying to get back in there. Get yeah, they're both feeling each other in neutral now. Nice shield on that JC. Gets a grid break throw. All right, Argon's gonna, yeah, Ooh, he's yeah. gonna bail off to get his grid back. Oh, VO back, the uni classic. All right, EX clapped. Or he might try to either do Rekka through something or uh, command grab. So we'll see what happens here. Just chilling. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 2-2-C. Gets a full confirm near the corner. Yeah. Argon might still take cycle. Gonna be very hard. Oh, too far for the throw attempt. Oh my Ooh. god, Miyaki had 2B so good. That went so far. Yeah. Well, I think also Argon tried to press 2B, so it extended his response. Oh, box. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. All right, still being aggressive. Yeah, he might spin the meter or maybe go, yeah, go into God Press, put him in the corner. Hey, Ooh. Counter hit, hey, yep. Buster. Or he tried to press the button. And you can see uh, Ori trying to do way more dash walking, and Argon might start exploiting that by just doing dash up uh, 360. But unfortunately, Ar Argon gets clipped by 2B. Yakia, ooh, drop ooh, combo. Yeah, drop the combo, go back into neutral. But it looks like Ori is going to yeah win the cycle. Text the throw, and he got Celestial for that, but he also got thrown, so... <laughs> uh, that's the classic uh, yeah. that wall does to you. You tech the normal grab, and then the, the A-Buster comes out. Oh. Ooh. All right, overhead, make it safe. Yep. Argon with the cycle. Woo. Oh, this might be death. CS? Yeah, it's been the CS. There we go. Crowd coming alive for Argon. That's their boy out here. Yes, that's right. Argon is a local here. Oh, no. well, around start 2 2 is not helping. Ooh, drops to confirm. <laughs> yeah, lo lots of weird hits from Viagia here. All right, Ori should win the cycle with this confirm. Yeah, maybe going to spend the meter too for a setup. Ooh. All right, one, two. Three. All right, Argon's got to try to find a way out. Ooh, he does. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that uh, didn't get clipped by the website. Yeah, I'm a little surprised about that too. Oh, yeah. Two to see once again. Oh, drop combo though. Count hit oh, jump nice. C. And he got the cycle from this. Argon can still easily make a comeback from this. All right. And he has 100 meter too. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah didn't block the red. All right, let's see if he gets 200 meter though. Yeah, if he builds the 200, it should be enough. Otherwise, he's probably going to need one more touch. 
He's gonna try. Oh, okay, that was still enough. Ooh, that was barely enough. All right. Oh, damn, walled gaming. He's making the character look cool, that's wild. Yeah. And then going straight into it, Ori immediately got a touch with Rekka, I believe? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 2B into Rekka. Oh, 2B Rekka. All right, gonna take the knockdown. Oof. Ooh, nice shield, but then gets thrown. Locks oh, the overhead. So now Argon gets a cycle. Ooh. But he still has to be careful, because he gets clipped, he's gonna yeah. get put back in the corner. All right, trying to... Oh, he's Ooh. trying to got, counter poke. Oh, jumps over the EX command throw. Yeah. All right, so now Ori most likely will spend 100 if they don't oh, drop the combo. Yeah, drop the combo and immediately got A-Bustered. Ooh, CS into slightly delayed to be caught Argon standing up. Yeah, spends a meter to secure the round. All right, so Ori on set point now. All right, I actually didn't know if that was going to kill it there. Ooh, yeah. That was a little scary. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I forgot this is loser semi, so yeah, yeah. Sure, Ori is on set point. All right. Argon gets small confirm. Ooh, Ooh gets so clipped, but doesn't confirm. All right, clean shield. About to win the cycle. Oh Ooh, my god. Great Andia there from Argon. All right, overhead blocked. Chain shift to make it. Ooh, <laughs> dash A buster. Ooh, no movement from Ori, just holding down back. Mm. Ooh, uh, had that happen earlier. Yeah, I'm not sure if Argon's trying to A buster in between those. Ooh, yeah. Chain shift. Very good position for Argon to be in. One more touch should take the round for him. Okay, one more touch after this. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't kill, but he didn't have to select. Go! Oh no. Yeah, if he had like the Vorpal damage bonus, that would have been enough. All right, he just needs one hit. Yeah, any hit, even a trade. Uh oh. Uh oh. It might be time. Yeah, back tech, get rid of the web. Yeah, Argon's kind of. Ooh! He's so lucky that traded! Yeah. All right. Yeah, amazing trade right there. Last round. Round start ADP. All right, gonna take the corner push. Bo. Bo. Be careful. Oh my god. Oh, kind of hit two seed. No, or he has so much meter because of the veil off stage. Yeah, and he's gonna take the cycle too. Oh, drop the combo. Yeah, he did that way too early. Block the overhead. None of those have hit so far. Oh my god. Amazing blocks from Argon so far. There's the EX Buster. And he's gonna take the cycle. All right, time to lock. No, Ooh. where are you going? No yeah, for trying you. to wake up 3D. Could have been worse. It could have gotten grid broken for that. Uh oh. oh okay. Ooh, we blocked those. Argus has the cycle. He's about. Ooh, he busts out. Chain shift. Yeah, spend the CS. Ooh, blocks yeah, the overhead. Blocks the overhead. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, oh, nice. I, I... That should be the round. And nice. Ooh. Argon okay, moves bro. on to losers finals. All right, that was uh, that was very tense. A very great game from both players. <laughs> I was I was actually expecting that uh, EX Buster to not kill for some reason. Yeah, me too, honestly. Because uh, if he had Warble, it would be like a more guaranteed amount of damage. Right. But the uh, <laughs> the raw, the unscaled damage from uh, EX Buster was like. I'm kind of unsure, but Yakuya right. also has like low, slightly low. Uh, yeah, I think it's lower than the average for sure. Mm, okay. All right, so Argon's gonna sit back up there. He's gonna stay there. He's gonna play a losers final. So he'll be against Twang. So, uh, did they play? Winners I believe. Yeah, Twang and Argon played in winners. No, winners, winners semis. semis. Okay. Yeah, right, right, not in winners finals. finals all right. So yeah. Twang has to fight the uh, scary grappler once again, but uh, now that Argon doesn't have to worry about his stick going out, hopefully he should be in a uh, prime position to maybe get to grand finals. Yeah, I believe so as well. <clears throat> yeah, I'm very curious to see how Argon will adapt from the last game in winners. Because now he's had a couple more games. Like he got through, uh, he got through that nail biter at the end there. <clears throat> It helps that, you know, you don't have to do a 720, you can just do a 360, and, you know, you get your command grab nice and easy. Twang, twang out here, like, damn, I got to play against this grappler again. Ugh. Right, ugh. ugh I got to do this again? I would not be happy if I was twang right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, our Argon's kind of on fire. You got to fight a character you probably haven't really fought in this version so far. Yeah. So things might get a little spooky. But he's, he's got the side of, uh, he's got... At the power of anime and ninjas on his side. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
So Argan trying to lock in. He's trying to uh, bring home a W or make it a Florida Grand Finals because Big Black, I believe, is also from this area. I believe so as well. Yeah, lots of lo Florida locals in this top eight, actually. I, I know Cookie is also a local here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Cookie, if you're in the crowd, wave, bro. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> But in case you're out there wondering why Cookie's not up here, it's because he's he's good enough at the game to get top eight, like most of the people who actually play this game and commentate can do. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing the Suika special. Suika's definitely known for doing this. Suika, if you're at home and you're hearing this, bro, stop doing that. <laughs> Please, bro. You're making it hard for the schedule stuff. All right, anyway. I just had to yell at Suika. That's what I do now. <clears throat> All right, I don't think there needs right. to be a button check. They're probably ready to go. Yeah, and the one nice thing about Argon here, he's had a lot of time to warm up between all these games he's had to play. Swang has just been uh, sitting waiting for his bracket matches for a while now. Mm -hmm. All right, loses finals, first to three. Great. Yeah, this top three is going to be great. And Big Black's just sitting back there like, man, I want to fight any of these characters, bro. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, Ooh, okay. Trying to read the jump with the up grab. Yeah, probably reading a J6C around start. Oh, God. Ooh, Andy Air 5A, Street Fighter. All right, throw back into the corner. Twang being hella aggressive. All right, that's a okay. Immediately spends the CS. Yeah, counter poke with 1A. God press ender? No. Yeah, oh, okay. Goes for a small side. Jesus. Oh, trade. Works out in Argon's favor. All right, let's chain shifts. Wants to keep his turn. Ooh, caught him jumping. Dash B. Oh! Uh, drops to confirm. Huh. Oh. I didn't know you could still tech that in that situation. That was yeah, weird. I'm a little surprised. All right, doesn't spend any meter. Twang decides to chain shift. Ooh, caught him jumping, but doesn't get confirmed. Oh, yeah. Twang looks like he's still trying to dash walk and take his turn, but yeah, Argon's willing to press a button a little bit sooner, so that way, if he tries to press a button, he'll get clipped. Uh -oh. Started off with ADP. It's minus three in this version, so yeah, all right. Grid break throw. Hey, just gets a clean two way up the assault. <coughs> Keeping Argon near the corner. Yeah, it goes for fireball pressure, tries to stop it with the ES command throw. Unfortunately, that gave Twang Celestial. Oh, but Argon gets a counter poke with 1A. All right, spins 100. Might put him back in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. All right, God press. Twang's still going to have CS here. Woo! Oh, OK. Didn't win Celestial, at least. Bitatsu. A late Ooh, CS. Okay. <laughs> That's late cheap. CS. That's very yeah. cheeky. It's so cheap. Ooh, parries the clap. Uh-oh. Bitatsu way up in the air, but Argon wins the cycle. I think gets yep. the EX Buster. Is he going to spend the CS to confirm this, though? Yeah. All right, he'll also have almost 100 meters, so he might go for another EX Buster setup. Right. Or not. Oh, Ooh. he pressed the button late. He got hit by the dive kick. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Punishes the shield of J2C. I Did Twang have CS when he hit that combo at the end? I believe he did. He could have gone into, like, CBO or something yeah. to take the round, but he didn't. All right, so Twang's just shaking that off, going right back in there. Oy. Oh, caught him stand teching. All right, my AB Ender. No, just beat Tatsu no, Ender. Just beat Tatsu. Uh oh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Wake up, A Buster. All right, dash up again. Oh my God, that wall Ooh. dash is so slow. He should be able to kill him. Yeah, spin the reader, and he should definitely be dead from this. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh. All right. Yeah, optimal, nice. All right, let's see if Twang decides to jump. No, he's just holding down back. Yeah, I feel like, uh, ooh, okay. The Pokemon with 5B, that works. All right, B-Tatsu once again. Yep. No shields from Argon. Oh, there there's one. one. And it gave him the cycle too, smart shield. All right, Twang trying to keep Argon in this corner without overcommitting. Oi. Ooh, caught him jumping with clap. Ooh, no! baits right. the DP. All right, you thought Argon would press there, but he gets baited instead. Let's see if it's EX Guard Press or not. It's Ooh, a reset. Reset into A Buster. Oh, caught him. Uh, <laughs> B Tatsu just, just bust out. 
He tops again. There's the chain shift. Oh, oh yeah, he, he was plus. Yeah, he tried to press buttons. He forgot. He forgot. Yeah. All right. So Wild 1A is plus two. Chain shift. Uh, no, yep. Sorry, spin meter. Make it safe. It still gets hit by Ooh, it. Still gets caught. <laughs> All right, guard press, hold this corner. <laughs> Ooh, okay, counter poke with 5e. Ooh, yeah, Ooh nice assault, give him Vorpal because of it. Oh. Go counter poke with 1a. All right, doesn't eat a whole bunch of damage and get hit by Beatatsu. Okay. He gets a confirm. Ooh, that's unfortunate. That would have been a really good starter for Twang. All right. Oh yeah, drops the combo, really tried to get Vorpal. Works out for him. Plus frames. <laughs> oh, dash throw. One more touch for Twang, and this will be a game for him. Oh, nice. Dash throw once again. So it looks like Twang's kind of figured out anytime Argon's not immediately putting something out, he can kind of get in range to dash and then wait a little bit and then throw right out. Yeah. Him. I've also been noticing that uh, Twang has been not being... He's being a lot more patient on round start. Just because he thinks that uh, Argon is going to try to anti arrow. All right, Twang has a lot of grid. Still wins the cycle, doesn't get Celestial, but it's okay. Ooh, okay. 2C clips him, barely. Chase uh, him. Okay, doesn't get whip punished. Oh. Argon yeah. in a good position to win Vorpal here, even with that whip to green shield. Oh. Ooh, hit him with the rod. He forgot there's two parts of that. He tried to backdash and got clipped. Yeah. Overhead! Ooh. One more touch from Argon, and this should take the round. It's just gonna take the damage here. Yeet. Yeah, take the damage. Doesn't mind giving up Warpool. Definitely agree with this. 2-2-8 two, two, to EX. Ooh, okay, nice shield on that double overhead. And then just does another dash of A Buster. It, uh, it looks like he's con uh, making sure Twang can't, like, dash block consistently. He always has to worry about an A Buster. My yeah, God. I feel like Argon has been getting a lot of mileage out of 1A this set. A lot of counter pokes with that button. All right, Twang trying to win the cycle. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, just dash throw. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, uh, right. A Buster, wake up. You right though. All right, so Twang. Ooh. All right, more staggers. Waiting for Argon to try to swing. Yeah, try to counter poke there with one A again. Didn't work out. All right, change shift again. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, fireball pressure. This is very scary to deal with. All right, he gets the B Buster. Ooh, <laughs> dash of B Tatsu. All right, he should get the Aether in there. Yep. Oh, yeah, keeps it simple. Doesn't get the cycle, though, but he's still in a good spot. Make that say. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, he's just not respecting Twang right there, even though he's plus. Reset again? Oh! Yeah, go for the reset. He tried to jump! My man yeah. tried to hold up. Very smart reads from Argon in this set. All right, let's see if Twang... And the Florida crowd is popping off for him. Hopefully Twang is not too, Jesus. Yeah, hopefully he's not too distraught from all these uh, good reads that he's making. Because oh. yeah, uh, that command throw just caught his uh, dash D. Oh, another <laughs> one, oh it, man. It keeps happening. Are we gonna see another one in a second? I'm feeling it, yup, yeah, there it is. Yeah, uh, it looks like Twang is being a lot more reserved. Hold yeah. on. Oh, I don't think that was a true whiff punish. Nice parry there. Oh yeah, he tried to go for the throw punish, but sometimes you have to micro dash to get the throw there. Twang gets a cycle. All right, now he can finally play the... Oh, <laughs> Just yeah. kidding. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah, he's dead, dead. Damn! Yeah, wake up ADP. All right, so set point for Argon. Right, dash dash Tatsu. Yeah, keeps it plus. Uh, making space. Argon. Cycle's almost over. He's in a good position to win this. Oh, try to make a throw to the assault, but Argon holding Ooh, down back. Okay. Yeah, a lot of 5A and 2A stagger pressure. Very hard for Wall to deal with. All right, chain shift. <laughs> oh, yeah, I tried to read a jump or a V-Tatsu. Twang not biting. He's like, screw it. I'm just going to meet you, bro. All right, last chance yep. for Argon here this round. A lot of green shield. Yeah, dash throw. One more touch for Twang. Nice. All right, he gets away. He gets away with the perfect that round. Looking a lot better. Oh, my oh. God. Charge jump C whiff into A Buster. Oh, uh, try to do another one. All right, Twang's being a lot more responsive on the Busters now, but he gets yep. tagged again. And Oregon is going to take the cycle with that hit. All right, gets a double circle. He's a lot closer now. 
Oh, dash A Buster. All right, last chance most likely. Oh, yeah, try to catch a jump out with that. All right, 42 33 incoming. Still a scary position for Twang to be in because he doesn't have any resources. Oh, try to do another hard read. Argon kind of feeling himself there. Hopefully, it doesn't bite him. Oh, ah! we take those grabs. Oh, we okay. don't take that one. But well, thankfully, Twang won the cycle, so he couldn't have killed off that. Oh, Woo! Yeah. Let's if go! If he doesn't drop this, it should be the game. Overhead? Okay. Damn! Yeah. <laughs> oh, the one time you need to stand yeah. up for the overhead, my friend. And Twang's like, whoo! <laughs> yeah, Twang giving me heart attacks, too. He's feeling it. He, got a, he didn't get away with murder, but he's just like, all right, I'm, I'm nice because it hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I were him, I would definitely take, like, maybe a moment or two to just collect myself. I would go back to character select. I'd be like, nah. Yeah, that game was crazy. All right, last game. Yeah, last game. Trying try to bait out any uh, anti-air yeah. options. Gets clipped. Yeah, he pressed the button on 1A. Oh, Ooh. yeah, empty throw. Oh, uh, 1A once again, but empty no, 1A. no confirm. Jesus. Charge up C. Ooh, doesn't no! take the B command throw. <laughs> Oh, he tried to read a dash of Buster again. Uh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. That's another perfect on the board. All right. All right. One more chance for Twang here. Let's see if he can pull it back. No! Oh, he forgot no. about the follow-up. All right. Dashes back oh, in, gets put by, by 5B. Should get pushed to the corner with uh, God Press most likely. Yep, God Press. And in a good position to win the cycle here. Oh, got cut jumping. Parry. Nice parry. Oh, nice parry. Okay, <laughs> Twang. I see you. Yeah, he's, he's got to bring this back now because uh, he doesn't have much chances. Yeah. More staggers. Yeah. Ah! Uh, and he's going to win the cycle here. He might actually chain shift this. Yep. Uh, if this doesn't kill, it's going to put him in a position where he just needs one more touch. All right. He's going to try, but I'm pretty sure this won't kill. All right, God press. Last chance for Twang. Uh, gets trying to wake up Tatsu. Oh, oh. He gets clipped by 1A. One one Damn. Yeah. Argon, I definitely felt like he got a lot of mileage cycling between both 1A and uh, the, the uh, Busters. Yeah, because Twang was trying to like dash up block, and then he would get Busters, so he'd yeah. be like, all right, I'm going to dash up and do a delayed button, and he'd get hit by 1A. So. Yeah. So good stuff to Argon. Uh, yeah, great stuff to Argon. A lot of great reads from him. Mm. <laughs> I I, I want to say, if you play walled, you have to have the ability to just say, they're going to down back, I'm just going to yeah. bust her. Yeah, you have to be fearless when you play a character like walled. Because you can't sit there and think like, okay, they're always going to jump my command grabs, because then you lose a core part of your kit, because uh, your A buster is three frames, and your EX uh, buster goes like almost half screen. Yeah, it's very long. It's very <laughs> hard to deal with. Especially when you're a character like Akatsuki too, like a lot of his pressure is based around fireballs and you can't really throw them out that much in that matchup for that reason. Yes, yes, yes. So hopefully uh, Argon's ready to uh, fight Big Black. I would assume they play each other a decent amount because they're in Florida. Cookie Wave, if you agree or disagree. I, I can't see you on the screen right now, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but I I'm going to assume Big Black is versed enough uh, a strong enough player to just say, okay, I know how to fight Walt's side. Just got to play it slow, make sure I'm out of, you know, buster situations. Uh, probably respect 1A, 2A. Don't want to get counter hit by anything silly. Yeah, I, I know uh, Big Black should definitely be familiar with the matchup because I know there's been a lot of uh, more wild sign players grinding the game. Like I know um, Tannison is another wild sign player that's been making the rounds a lot on these net play brackets. I've been seeing him a lot in top eight, so I'm sure Big Black has a lot of experience. <coughs> with Waldstein. But also, Byakuya has the uh, leisure of having webs to set up way in front of him, so Wald might have to try to get rid of them or just dash past them. Uh, Byakuya also has 2B, 2C. They go pretty yeah. far. They're big buttons. Uh, they're just going in. I saw a fist bump. Oh, boy. Yeah, it looks like they're going straight into it. <clears throat> All right, grand finals. Big Black on winner's side, Argon on losers. Yeah, it's a Florida local grand finals. All right, round start. Yeah, round start. They're feeling each other out. <laughs> Big Black's just kind of like, yeah, I'm going to sit back here. It's cool. I, I don't care, bro. You're not going to buster me. Yeah, not a lot of threatening things for Ryakio to deal with at that range. 
But Argon does have the cycle, so maybe he's gonna use that to try and get in. Okay, gets an A-Buster, that's something to start. And Big Black's just holding that back. He's like, all right, cool, you got an A-Buster. He, he... Oh my yep. god, that's so fast. Our head blocks. Yep, block that. All right, Big Black still being diligent, holding down back, Ooh, but he gets clipped for dashing. Oh, oh I'm surprised he got that confirmed. Big Black is so good, dude. Damn. Bro, I don't think anyone else would have got that confirmed. Yeah, I don't think so, too. All right, more staggers. Argon holding down back pretty well, tries to get his turn back. Yeah, in a solid position to win the cycle. I think Big Black recognized that, so he just changed up there. All right, should spend 100 meter. Get the web capture coming up. Yeah, go straight into the setup. He might have to worry about Argon's chain shift. Oh! Uh, All right, yeah, just went straight for the command throw. I mean, could have been worse. Oh, Ooh. no. Wait, he's dead. Uh, oh, that's rough. Is what I would say if he didn't drop his combo. Yeah, somebody's definitely dead at least either way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, don't drop your combos, kids. That's a lesson there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, round start ADP. Oh, Ooh. yep. He saw yep. the assault. He had more than enough time to react with the EX Rekka. Uh, EX clap, plus, Ooh. hit him with 3C, gonna yeah. put him in the corner with that. Uh, he might spend 100 here because he'll get 25 refund while having Warple. Oh yeah. There we go. One, two, three. Oh! Ooh. Clipped him with 2C. Yeah, he tried to stand up to block the web to get rid of it, but he got hit low at the same time. Yeah. What? Oh, got hit with below. Bro, I got hit with that. Yeah, I would have got hit there too. Because every time he disappears, you're just like, where's what? he going? Yeah. And you got to respond instantly because uh, you don't have much time with webs on top of you. It's a very scary situation to be in. All right, Argon taking his time to think. He's like, all right, man, this Miyaki character. Yeah. I'm, I'm not about that. Yeah, this champion's kind of strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just being Ooh, patient yeah. and buffering. Ooh, okay. Gets a 2-2. Solid Ooh. confirm there, but drops it, unfortunately. Nice shield from Argon. Gave him the cycle. Big Black just trying to poke, but Ooh. gets clipped by 2A. Reset? No, he's just going to oh. take the damage here. And the side swap. Yeah, side swap with the uh, body splash. All right, dash at 2A again. He's trying to read any movement from Big Black. Walks the overhead, change yes. it to make it save. Oh, my God. Ooh. Bro, where yeah. are these A-Busters? The, the patience of a god, man. Uh, he's just willing to look. Uh, to, oh, there's a fuzzy oh, match. They have the fuzzy match. All right, you don't, you don't get to mash your whiff into A-Buster on me, bro. Right. Oh, man. I think that was a stand tech right there, too. All right, about to spend 100 meter. There we go. Yeah, he got the resources. Spend it. All right, pull up. Oh, oh my cleared god. cleared all the webs. But he got whiff punished. All right, last yeah. chance. Ooh, okay. Damn, he managed to get that in that block. So what a beast. We got about 30 seconds left, so you still got some time to work with. Late CS. Either touch from either player will take it. 2-2-C, two, two trying to catch Argon standing up. Argon wins the cycle. He might send it soon. Yeah. Another 2-2-C. Two, two, oh, my God, Earthquake. Oh, oh the fuzzy the mash. Uh, all right, let's see if Argon uh, reads that Big Black keeps doing fuzzy mash on those assaults. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, uh, round start dash B. Woo. Blocks the web, doesn't eat it. That's cool. Oh, uh, that was a very interesting stand tech right there. I don't think he wanted that. Ooh. Argon taking his turn back immediately. And Big Black just making space, but he gets Ooh. clipped. All right, let's see if this is a reset or he's just going to end in God Press. All right, just mid screen knockdown. Ooh, okay. Oh, nice shield. Barely won the cycle off that. All right, 6-6-C. Six, six, holds down back. Chill Ooh, Ooh. I, thought, I think that was supposed to be Buster. Yeah, either a Buster or maybe a JC. Mm. Either way, that unfortunate whiff is making him eat like up to 3.5k damage. All right. Hold up, uh, yup. Yep. And then takes, he just runs back in right away. Because he knew he'd be uh, kind of flustered at the fact that yeah. he got his uh, AX Buster baited. And so he's just like, all right, you're going to block this time. Yeah, he definitely got the hard read on that. All right. So Argon taking his time once again. Uh, very good tactic to make sure you're not just running back in there and just trying to send it and hoping things get better. Right. And Big Black is now going to be on a game point.
All right. <clears throat> Let's see if the round starts the same from Argon because it's kind of been passive. Yeah, trying yeah. to make sure he doesn't get whiff punished. It's either been passive or Biyaki is the one trying to make a move. Yeah. All right, web set. Argon not oh. matching up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that throw whiff was, uh, the shield was actually very scary, but yeah. he, got, he got away with that. It somehow worked out very well in Argon's favor, but not anymore because now he's in the corner. Web set. Doesn't bite on it. Oh. Uh, the super delayed overhead after the web set. All right. And Big Black's about to be standing on full resources. Probably going to spend the meter here. All right. Web set up. He has one on the ground already, so he still has three. Overhead. Right. Nice block. Nice tag. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Dash 1A. Dash 1A. Oh, but the max oh, range man. sweep hits, and he gets a full confirm. All right. This is right. Argon's last chance, everybody. Yeah. Big Black on set point. Let's see if Argon can run this back. Ooh. All right. Green shield bleeds some grid there. Big Black trying to stay outside the 2A range. Oh, oh. man. The 1A gets stuck by Assault. Yeah, reading Argon's uh, defensive habits, trying to poke out. About to spend 100 as well. Yep. Going to put him in the setup. Let's see what Big Black does after this. Ooh. All right. Holding right. down back. Still have, still have two webs in front of you. Oh, God. No! Uh, got hit. Yeah. I think Argon's going to have maybe one or two more chances after this to make something work. TRM? Oh, uh, TRM. Into the web? Yeah. That might be GG. We'll see if, yeah, he, let's see if he goes for it. Uh, never mind. We spoke too soon. Oh, no! I don't uh, know. That, that must have been a misinput. Yeah. And, that... and Big Black uh, takes... Grand Finals 3-0 to win TNS 9 for Under Night 2. Yeah, let's go Big Black. That had to have been like maybe an A-Buster or something from Argon that whip there. But yeah, because uh, that's the second time that happened to him in this set. Yeah. So I mean, maybe if we get to ask him and we'll say like, hey, what's up with that? What was going on there? But hopefully he's not too discouraged because he didn't yeah. get second place at a, yeah. uh, a pretty stacked tournament for this region. Yeah, second place is still a very strong showing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Big Black still showing his dominance. Uh, he's probably going to go home and maybe try to enter the net play yeah. bracket that's going on. He's like, yeah, I'm trying to win some more, bro. What's going on there? Oh, yeah, I believe uh, Waz is running a bracket today, too, on Netplay. Oh, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> that's in, like, two hours, so he's just going to go home and oh, play. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can probably he, just join that. He's like, all right, thanks for winning the tournament. All right, I'll see you guys on Netplay. I'm out of here. But, uh, yeah, that just goes to show the strength of Big Black of how good he is at reading people's defensive yeah. habits and how he can slowly uh, apply his offense. And it doesn't look like it's a lot because you're just like, oh, he's just doing, right. like, one, two normals. But then over the course of time, you're, like, getting yeah. pushed to the corner. You're slowly losing grid. Yeah, everything he does just slowly adds up, even though he is a very patient player that takes his time. Because, yeah, like we've been saying, like 99 seconds in uni is a long time. Mm. All right. Uh, let's see if we can get the uh, award ceremony going, get the players on stage maybe. But uh, once again, uni 2 uh, doing pretty well at a lot of the major tournaments in like the lot since it came out at the end of January. Yeah, that's uh, right. A lot of people are very hyped for this version of the game because now it finally has rollback. Uh, yeah, very happy about that. Because I know a lot of people are just like, once this gets rollback, I'm in there. I'm, I'm grinding every day. And a lot of people have yeah. committed to playing the game. Yeah, a lot early. of people actually are grinding the game for once. Yeah. Because I, I know. Uh, when the beta came out, you were grinding pretty hard. Cause yeah. I, was like, I was like, oh, man, Squish is back. What's going on Yeah, there? dude, I bought a PS5 just to play the beta. <laughs> Brother, yeah. really? Yeah, I you, did. You didn't have a PS4? No, I didn't. I got rid of my PS4. I was thinking to myself, oh, you know what? I'll probably buy a PS5 at some point because it's going to have backwards compatibility, and then I never did. <laughs> so when the Uni 2 beta was announced, I'm like, okay, it's time. I just it just sent, like, what, $600 on the PS5? Yeah, pretty much. God damn. But, but you're going to make it back up once you go to these other tournaments, probably yeah. get top eights, make some of the pot bonuses because uh, later this year it's supposed to be crossover arc. Yeah, crossover arc. We got Slashback. We got Combo Breaker. We're also going to be main stage at EVO. That's going to be super exciting as well yeah back at evo once again it's gonna be uh gonna be a good time because a lot of people are gonna show up again because uh evo 2019 was kind of surreal because yeah there's so many people there for under night yeah we were supposed to be there again uh, i think in 2020 or something like that but then the pandemic happened right. and yeah but then everybody tried to grind as hard as they could so now after yeah. the pandemic uh that stage of the pandemic there's a lot more people who got stronger just because right. like, they, they grinded on that play and then now they're just beasts because you're just 
Like, wait, I didn't see you before. What's going on here? Yeah, I'm definitely experiencing that a lot firsthand. <laughs> like I mentioned it earlier, like I don't even know who Malarkey is. Like I've seen him <laughs> around like recently, but like while well, I was playing, I did not know who he was. Mm. Yeah. All right, it looks like we might have the award ceremony ready for you guys. Let's see if they're good to go. But yeah, I think this year is going to be great for Uni too. I mean, I think Frosty Fasting's had like 400 entrants. I'm sure Combo Breaker and Eve are going to pop off as well. Yes, sir. I'm sure Slashback and Crossover as well. I know a lot of hardcore players are going to go to that event too. Uh, Clear Lamp's supposed to be there. Yeah, Clear Lamp's supposed to be at both uh, Crossover and Slashback. Mm. He's on that grind. Yeah. All right. Looks like we have the award ceremony. All right, all right, congratulations to Top 8 for Uni! Coming in at seventh place, Micaiah! Also in seventh place, not just a commentator, Cookie! <laughs> In fifth place, Vicky Viper. Also in fifth place, Malarkey. And for fourth, Jurassic Ori. For third, Twain. And Florida's finest runner-up, my favorite guy, Argan! <laughs> and of course, your TNS9 champion. Thank God you didn't have an opponent with a weird name, too. Um, <laughs> your champion is Big Black! Welcome to the Akatsuki, you know, you know. Show them on the back. Show them what's on the back of the... Look at that, look at that. Let's, there we go. Give it up for Big Black. Give it up for all of Top 8. Thank you so much. Keep playing uni. And so uh, there you have it. That was Under Night, top, Under Night 2 Top 8. Uh, Great players. Uh, everybody was really expecting different results, but what yeah. we got was still pretty good for the most part. Yeah, very strong showing from everybody that showed up to play. Definitely. Yes. Uh, hopefully, I get to see you at Crossover Arc. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I will be there. I'm not going to enter because this, this is my job. Yeah, you, you don't want to be cookie. Yeah, I <laughs> Empiris would kill me if I did that. Uh, don't worry, Empiris. I didn't enter brackets. Okay. <laughs> uh, but for all of you at home, uh, please make sure that if you're also excited about the game, you try to sign up for any net play brackets or go to the local that you can go to. Uh, if not, just try to like communicate with the people around you who also play and just say like, hey, let's get some games. And maybe you'll start something for yourselves in the future. Yeah, fun fact. I think we actually have a net play bracket five out of seven days of the week. Is it? Yeah. Oh I think the only days that they don't run net play brackets are Mondays and Thursdays. Jesus. So you're telling me there's a bracket Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday? Yes, I believe so. Hmm. Okay, all right. All right. Thank you all for watching Undernight. Uh, we'll, there, don't go anywhere. We still have more games coming up for you. And Yeah, we got Grand Blue eight, Top 8 coming up, yeah, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. All right, everybody. Uh, take care and stick around.